A uh, lot of good players in this in this tournament this tonight. What we concert did he jump off to? Up first, we Nikki. got we got Sleep who's sitting ready. Let's do it. We got the bracket. We got Nikki Hollywood. Sleep we got the in bracket. The first okay, match. so we got winners semis. It's gonna be Nikki versus Hollywood Sleep. As man, a of fact, Nikki and Sleep are such good players, man. They've come the a long way. Hmm. Let's just go and on with the match. Then we got Thompson versus LCD. So that's going to be exciting as well. Let's go. Jago versus Orchid. Hmm. Yep, yep. Brother versus sister, most likely, though. He and then Devil we got, May Care. And losers, mm. we got Devil May Care Let's versus Jackal. Mm. This is going to be hype. No and one expected this. No, not at no all. No one expected this. And at then all. we this got Gnarly really Feats versus Runix, mm. who was Runix. a finalist at Evo. Is so. it Runix or Runix? Can someone correct me? Who's this? Runix? Who says Runix? Who says Runix? <laughs> Anybody? Nobody in the crowd? No? no. Nobody in the crowd says Runix. Please, correct yourself. Runex and Runex, don't you dare stay quiet, boy. <laughs> Let's go. We run it. We run it. So here we go. <laughs> Up first, we got Sleep versus okay. Nick. Nikki. Circa's Nikki versus Circus, Hollywood Circus, Sleep. Circus, Nikki and Hollywood Sleep. L.A. Las Vegas. Not So who, who do you think Sleep's going to go with? Oh, I heard a con round. There we go. Here Could we this go. be the return? You know, it is the Day of the Dead. We got to bring back somebody that was supposedly killed off the committee. Yep. And yep. nobody ever bring this character up. Like, I mean, I don't know. You can't sleep on Fubuki. And you really can't sleep on anybody. You can't sleep on one. Here we sleep go. On sleep. Let's go. We've got Full Gore versus Con Ra. Killer Instinct. Top 8. SoCal Regionals. Well, Let's this is going to be something hype that we haven't seen in a long time. Since Season 2, I suppose, in a money match. I expect. Maybe in casuals and rank in a pro league. Before the pro league, there was a beatdown. Shout out to Evan for the tournaments. Yep, Shout out yep. to everybody tonight. Shout out to Justin Dan. Shout out to Perkins. Right. Oh, GTG. starts off strong go. already. Give him the got to Oh, the missed the reset. G2G. Let's go. Oh, he jumps over the command grab. Goes for the Oh, he gets locked out. Oh, gets oh, command grab. Command gets grab Haas. again. Where's the setup? Okay, let's oh, go. Oh, here we grab. go. Oh, no. Well, no, oh, no chance. Command no chance. Grab. Gonna go for the manuals. Go for the heavy. Got the lockout. Tries with to the get throw. to the heavy instead of get first. Anyway. Let's go. Bring it. Bring it. Goes for the grab. No. No chance, no chance. You gotta guess this one. Whatever this sleep Nikki does is all just the mind games. Full Gore it's zoning is so strong in this game, it's crazy. Oh, it's he punished. Play. It's just gonna be a punish. Punished. Right? It's okay, it's okay. Wow. He can come back. Hollywood Sleep is just repping. He's a repping. And we gotta rep it. Certainly. Nikki's going for full for full yeah. charge speed on his pips, so. And now we're gonna bring it down just a little set up. Oh, there's the command grab. I expect it what's the move. Is it gonna go juggle? Oh. Justin Scarab brings out the puppy, goes oh, through the puppy. Oh, he goes right through it. Kicks. Oh, he tried it again, hmm. but he was ready for it. What can we only see? Oh, my. He gets hit by the Oh, he gets Whoa, hit by the Scarabs, scarabs into the Scarab. command grab. What can you do? No meter. After to sleep with the idea, with the genius mind. Hmm. Gets down. Rocks. All right, all right. We got blocks. We got blocks. We're good. Is he gonna flex? How a soup! Oh, he canceling the instinct. Oh man, oh man, oh man! Here comes the He's mix not up. giving Nikki the kill of the super. He put taco. He put sour cream in his taco. No one wants to see that. <laughs> no one wants to see that. Load on money, load on money. Let's go. Oh, we got hit by the. Mm. Nice break. Nice break. And down we go. He gets punished. Oh, he gets Projectile the lockout. This could be big. What's this? This could be big. Could it be? And it's going to be ended. Oh, not no. quite. You not can't quite. count on sleep. You can't count on sleep. We've seen this before, but can we see this again? Oh, oh gets hit by the projectile. Just by jump. And Although that does four hits. Circa Nikki somehow takes by the one first chance match. gets hit. Sometimes I punish. How does it punish him? All right, here we go. Round two. And it sounds to me that Sleep's got an idea. It, this is best three out of five, correct? This is best three out of five. I'm uh, not sure. Oh, two. Yes, yes, it is three out of five. Oh, nice break. So the, the, the crazy thing about this matchup is like, Fulgore can literally teleport out of anything. So.
And then now it's just going down to the heavy. Okay, okay. It's going down to break the heavy. It was a one chance. It could be heavy. It could be grass. Oh, with the lockout. Oh, this is going to be it's big. MVP. Yep. Takes the, oh, takes the takes first light bar. Level two. Level two. Can't count off level two. Even if it's just a small damage, a small amount of level record, you can't go for the big damage anytime. Just go for the hit. But I see that this is all just in his game right now. Breaks oh, nice break. Break on medium. Doesn't punish. Oh, he punished the back Death down. Punishes the counter. That was crazy. Oh, DP. Can't count off DP. Brings it up for the crowd. All right, all right. Are we going to see no instinct? Where's the instinct? Oh, he oh, missed no the punish. counter breaker. Goes for the counter Oh, breaks oh the heavy. Oh, my God. Oh, the man. Oh, man. Oh, the man. Oh, man. The breaks. These are the breaks. Oh, he's got a mind of its own. Boom. Boom. Can't cut it off. Go for the juggle setup. Oh, is that going to hit? Nope. Everybody got a minion. Shake. <laughs> Shake, my boy. Oh, good punish. Good now the punish. child has moved to the ring. No punish. It's projectile, I suppose. Gets hit. Oh, the scare from behind was still there for more oh, hits. Oh, good break. Good break. Let's see. What's the mix up going to be? Oh Great my gosh, punish. uppercuts all day. Uppercuts all day. Is this it? Oh, oh man. my god. Oh, have Nikki with a bar. Oh, oh that's no. it. That's no. it. No. Score is now 2 0. Circa Nikki. Awesome Can we see a switch or will he stick with Conrad? Mm. Oh, he went to character select. He believed. It was a good run, but Nikki with the idea. Well, I mean, is he going to switch or is he just taking his time to think? For you a know, bit? that is a very notable way to remember somebody. But you know what? This is just Link's decision. We can see a mirror match. Yeah. yeah. I believe we're seeing a mirror match. Can no, we see a hot? There have been a lot of full gores tonight. And last night, I believe it was one of the greatest tournaments with the top. How the top eight turned out was a prediction by Nikki. And can you believe this man? This man. Yeah. Has the mind to call out and sleep on people, not give people a chance. Ah, okay. Okay. No. Oh, you know? nope. He went to Con Ra again, so. But we believe he's not believe the choice. We all got to get good like them. They are the gods, but you know what? Gods can bleed. We did <laughs> see in <laughs> reach the top eight. Shout out to the boys, top eight losers. All right, here we go. Match three. Oh, nice break. Nice break. Right back at you. Oh, man. Mine's there. Oh, wow. He really stick with combat. Breaks everywhere. Is he going to? Yep. Broke it again. Okay. Okay. See, the all thing right. that's so strong about Fulgore versus Conra is he can teleport out of all the setups and the mix-ups. So right. Sleep really has to choose his setups carefully and wait for those teleports to come out. And right now, he's just going to keep the punish. Pretty really much just going to Full pip speed like, again. Like, I think and I believe it is rather challenging for Conra now in the changes with, right, right. with Fulgore still having the lunch. As much as we all want to learn... We all want to have to get these matches down. You're going to have to see how Nikki pulls off, but oh, you know what? Good block. Nikki. Hard. You can't watch out. Right, right. Oh, oh he goes for, for the bait, but punished, but doesn't confirm. Breaks good medium. break, good break. Brings out the Scorp Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio. Let's go, Scorpio. Where is he? Oh. Oh man, oh, Pepe! My God. It's his uppercut. Bring us for the bait again. Scorpio had to go. Hey, bring out Scorpio. Just brings out his home. Brings out the home. Oh, brings out Charles. Oh man. Oh, explosion to stop the shadow. With move, the full bar instinct and with one bar with on Nikki's side. Yep, yep. Big, just risks it. Goes for stagger. Goes for the command right. Very nice and firm. Set up. Oh, it breaks out the oh, scarab, no. goes oh. the counter, and no sleep is then sent to oh. losers. 
And that is it. It's been a good Three run, you know what? Mickey. It's worth a shot. He's going to play in losers. He's going to oh give it another run. Really we'll see what we can do. Really strong showing by Circa Nicky. The Evo Camion has good. been sent to losers. Which, you know what? We, we can't sleep on the sleep. You know what? You can't sleep on sleep. He'll give it you another run. can't sleep on the king of sleep. You know what? We all have a little <laughs> a night owl in us in honor of sleep. Can't really push that man away. So Shout outs to the players out there. That was there. exciting. That was Very a really exciting. good match. Man, oh man. Up next, who we got? We got Thompson versus LCD. This LCD. is going to be crazy. You know what? I feel like, I feel like referencing uh -huh. a, a, a couple of people, a few people maybe. All right. That oppose of wearing accessories on their heads, you know? <laughs> One extreme. You know, right. shout outs to those. Shout outs to them. Shout outs to you. Know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Shout outs to them. Yep, yep, yep. And you know what? I see a few people in the crowd. I hear my name. Maybe. You know what? <laughs> no one cares. Good. Good to know. <laughs> this is top eight. You know what? We got to make it. Now, who's next? LCD and Thompson. Mm. Yeah. Now, in lore, this is a storyline. It is. It, it is, is a storyline that we can see. Yep. Yep. With supposed best Kim Woo. Thompson versus LCD. This is. And that's fair. That's fair. This is one for the books right here. But you know what? He's got the spirit of Orchid. It shows in his stick. You know what? <laughs> the spirit Speaking of Orchid. <laughs> the spirit of Orchid lives on, but he's repping the bay. The bay with the dreams, but we know air back dash on the dragon. Just saying. But as we continue, we got Blue Hurricane Gaming, the man. Yep. The yep. return of the dragon. The man, the myth, the legend, now, Thompson. Shout out to Tristan <laughs> as well. Shout out to the boy, and Jim Paulo. Yeah. The man with the. Can we say on the count of three? What is Jim Paulo say? One, One, two, two three. Deep <laughs> Deep Deep <laughs> Are we gonna see DPs from these two? These got powerful DPs. I think it's in their. I think it's in the gene to DP. You know what? It might be. It might, might be. be. Might be. Might be. We got a fire cannon and a dragon. Hmm. <laughs> another thing I'm coming. You All know right. what? That just shows their blood. Yep. 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 Can't really knock them out. But you know what? We're gonna see how everything turns out. Man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. No wave in the crowd tonight. Everybody's having a good night. Yep. You got anybody to shout out, man? I got a few in my mind right now. I mean, I'd like to shout out, shout out first of all, Iron Galaxies for this game. You can't count out the good people. Huh? The OGs, man. Season one, baby. Oh, season one? Yeah, shout outs to Double Helix. Good stuff. Shout out to Double Helix. We are Glacius Mains on the main stage. Taking taking commentary. Shout out to Filthy Rich. You may be in the crowd, maybe not, but you know what? You inspired us how to play Glacius and you did it for us. And shout out to Rance for the tech. Yep, you are a yep. god that will never bleed. You know what? <laughs> but God's got to bleed tonight and this is Killer Instinct World Cup. <laughs> Speaking of World Cup, who's going to get the points? Who's going to go get that trip? Because this is a qualifier. It is. It is. And where to hold it down than SCR. Yep. 2016. I love the music in this game. It's so hype. You can't say no to this music. Like, definitely. I could say that Shago's theme will be the best theme. And Christopher De Leon just, you know what? It's good that the community brought him out to put his voice in the game. Yep. As yep. spirits live on in his journey. And you know what? We got a combo in top eight to represent. We do. We do. And we also got a lot of heart for a lot of people, you know? All right, here we go. The city of SoCal. Second match city of, of North. top I'm eight. The city of Cali all together. SoCal Regionals dreams. 2016. Where the Killer Instinct. With Dave Hay. We got Thompson versus LCD. A harsh reality. A harsh reality. Let's see. We got, hmm, this seems like a reference of another game that DPs. <laughs> and we got Orchid, Purple Orchid. Right, been purple rain, purple rain in the stage. LCD going with Orchid, huh? All right. Yep, this is definitely amazing. Oh, nice break, nice break. We got good music. <laughs> no disrespect to the slash heavy music, so slash metal heavy gears. We've all commented on how bad music is, but let's not mind that. Speaking of good music, this is a good thing. No matter what, this is a great time. Oh, overhead to the cancel. That was dirty. With the walk. Oh, he gets locked like out. It's going to be safe for the day. Thompson wow. is just going in. Thompson. 
Let's do it. LCD's got a. Alright, here we go. Oh, nice DP. Fire go for the DP. throw. And you know what? We're going to push hard and say, Oh, he broke, broke it and right, right before, before the shadow the freak. And no, no, no. Oh, nice shadow counter. Great overhead. And oh, that is just it. finishes the combo. Wow, Thompson. Looking Thompson dominant. is on fire right now. He is on fire. Afraid your path ends here. He's ready for it. He wants to. You know what he's going for. We all got it. We all got it. This is winners. All right. Straight to rematch. Someone's going to go straight to losers after this. Oh, great. Grab okay, the corner. Where's the pressure? pressure? The grenade set up. Text oh, the grab. Break. Good break. Oh. Sorry. LCD not getting hit by those grabs. Oh no, he drops the combo. Oh, goes from the counter. Wall splat doesn't confirm for the counter break or even a bait for another ender. Wow, oh wow, wow, wow. Oh, good ender. Wow. Okay, so the thing. Oh no, never mind. I was going to say this thing about Jago is he can regain like a lot of life, but. LCD convincingly takes that first life bar, so. Dang. We can only hope that we can see a return from that Thompson, because we just saw this happen. Looks like it's going to be back to back. We're going to bring it back to back with a Good break. break. Good break. Oh. Okay. Opening him up. Hey. Oh, he drops the combo again. Oh, goes for the grab. Breaks the medium. Oh, good break. I would have broken light, but you know what? Who knows? We all have some safe scenarios. Just happy mistakes. <laughs> all right, all right. One, two, three, four. Is he gonna go? No, no. Oh, okay, here we're gonna comes see Oh, they can only leave. leave. Fire! Oh, he's gonna go. get some life back. No cooking! No cooking! Hold on, no cooking! Where's the fire cancel? Where's the fireball cancel? Well, we gotta see some dragon's fire. We gotta see some dragon oh, fire. Oh, good air grabs. Oh, breaks the oh, light. He breaks it. Yes, you can break lights in this. In this season, you can break lights in the air. You don't see that in it. Oh, oh nice. Ooh. Guess Get the first instinct. light bar. This is around the world. We take it around the world. Can Thompson bring this back? Oh. We, no nope. break, no break, 1-1, one, one. tied it back, back that to back. Tied full bar, one to one. full bar, butter of, of all shadow, of all shadow. Things. This is just something that, yeah, that's going to have to be back to back. You know, it's all, you could say it's momentum. Yeah. yeah. You could say even, it, and it's all just mind games. Uh, but all in all, it is back to back. We'll see who's going to keep it up. Go. It's all about who gets countered and punched. Are we going to make a short and sweet combo? Roundhouse, roundhouse, no shadow counter. Fireball. You know, if he were to fireball cancel, he probably could have done an overhead after or go for a medium, crouching medium. But you know what? That's not the point. Let's do it. Oh. Gets out of the corner. Mind you. Mind you. Oh, what a overhead. Man, good defense from LCD. Just blocking everything. Great defense. No shadow counter. No shadow counter. He's just gonna go for the bait. He's just gonna go for the pressure. Someone's gotta keep the pressure alive. This is oh, a very close match between the two. Brother and sister going at it. Great DP. Oh, got gets hit with the overhead oh, with the lockout. Who's he thinking? Who could he be broken? He's gonna be light. It's confirmed. 23%. Good solid damage and the combo. No worries, no worries. With Thompson being able to build up in sync. He's gonna keep the overhead pressure. Oh, what's the damage? DP grab, no break, no punish, drops the combo, goes for the reset. Slabs him with a tonic wall. Oh, goes for the shadow counter, doesn't confirm. Overhead, no trade. 
break blocks. We gotta keep the defense alive. You can't even touch Orca when she's on defense. Like, you know what? Only one shadow counter. We'll just go through their cat with their, their kitty. Yep, yep. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, there's that life gain. Is that life lead? Are we on instinct? Yes, we are. Look at that life lead. This is all momentum based Keats, with please. life lead. Derp Jago, please. No, I'm just kidding. Keats, please. <laughs> Keats, we're not done yet. No, no, senor. Oh. No break. Oh, Dibri. Oh, no. Are we going to see Dibri? Grab. Okay, only a true master. Pixel of life. That's Don't give him. It. Nope. Give him the DP. Oh, no. DP. Wow, DP. Larry, Larry. Oh, Larry's no. trying to find a breather. Got to catch breath. You know what? He's like saying, no, no. That is, no, no, sir. That I know. That's two to one. I'm the best. <laughs> you can't push me to the side. Yep, yep. I am the best. I give it all. We've come this far. <laughs> Smash Army, people. Smash Army. HK Smash, baby. Yep. All right, here we go. All right, all right. Combo? Nope. Good break. Good break. On the break. Heavy break. Good confirm. Oh, man. That's the counter. It doesn't confirm. It did not sell corner. It's a DP. Are we going to see juggles? No, no. Oh, see. the grenade <laughs> stopped nope, the no, juggle. See. Three. Oh, it looks like we both can throw projectiles, too. One can just go through and just oh, say bye-bye. Good bye-bye. Bye oh, punish, but no confirm on the overload. Oh, man. Get the meter, but no. Goes for the short speed combo. Took the first life, Styling, 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 saying, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm coming through. Kitty coming through. Slap him, slap him. Give him the heavy. Hit. But oh. no confirm, gets hit. Oh, that Tag was it. really good. That was really smart. He that went was right very through confirmed Orchid's with the tiger. tiger. Because you know that what? That was crazy. He blocked it. He confirmed it and counted counted off with the shadow. Yep, yep. Shadow, one, two, three. Oh, Gotta good break. break it. Terminator style. You know what I mean? Gotta break that shadow Terminator style. Okay, okay. Looks like we're going to go all around the world. Oh, he's oh, going to gain all, all this life back. Are we going to see all of it? All of it! Give me all of my life. Yes. Give it up! <laughs> Everything! Man, that's godlike, all right? So much life. You know what? It looks like a god's not gonna bleed tonight. But you know what? We all gotta confirm. These two are very powerful when they're They're very dominant in their play. And it looks like we're gonna have a 2 2, perhaps? Maybe it is true. Let's see where it goes. Because we did see something very, very close like this. And we all saw what confirmed to be what was LCD today. Tonight, too. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey, grab. Breaks the goal. Oh, we broke it. Breaks it. That was a very brave break. <laughs> Ooh, man, oh, man. Slide. Go for the slide. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, there's games. The closest match. You know what? That was, it was a. Could that have been a counter? Can we see a replay of that? Might have. We might catch a replay of that. I haven't seen it a lot tonight. Really Can good. we catch a replay of that? I want to see I want to see that again. Hold on. Well, no replay. Shout outs to Thompson. Shout outs to Thompson. Shout outs to LCD. LCD can bring it back. Sleep is going there. It looks like we're going to get sleep, possibly. All sleep right. LCD. So, Killer Instinct, SoCal Regionals 2016. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be we will be back after these messages.
What the hell does that mean? What does that mean? It He's looks like at me. we are live. Oh, we're live, dude. All right, Whoa. what's up? What's good, stream? Say Jam here with Ringe. What's up? We're here with some Killer Instinct, dude. They hella didn't call call us in. Like they were just no. like, I mean, and you're live. Kobe was just like, hey, he gave us the <laughs> finger gun and we're Yo, back. Yeah, us with the long range oh, finger guns. What's, what's good, good, stream? Ringe, myself, Say Jam here with some Killer Instinct commentary. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying so far. I saw the lovely words on Twitter, and uh, was invited over post haste to do some commentary for some killer instinct sounds good man absolutely and say jam tagged me in as we uh, we don't get to be partners often on the commentary that's right table. and you know wrench here uh commentary professional and uh, he has commentary fundamentals oh thank so you they're like who do you want to put in and i was like dude i don't know let's do this yeah let's rock and roll dude. and hey don't get it wrong i'm killer online you know? no yeah All he right? is you killer ranked you know? uh in i killer play instinct. this game it's all I'm good. gonna I'm gonna handle the front load <coughs> here. I've done eight hours of Street Fighter commentary today. I've done Guilty Gear and KOF for Did about some Street Fighter yesterday. Thirty five hours today. I think we're ready to get into our match. Our competitors look like they're up up there getting oh, yeah. ready to play the match. You see on the left side of the screen, BXA Jackal. It's a pretty common tag as you see on the right, BXA for Devil May Care, who is a TJ combo player. May top eight here. Jackal, of course, Gargos had those upsets not too long ago at an East Coast event where he beat. Pink Diamond, as well as a few other strong players with Gargos, made top three at that event. Uh, so we'll see how he does. It's going to be an interesting match. This is one of the few top eights where we see a TJ combo. Ooh, and he opens him up early. Yeah, early open up, as you mentioned, has corner positioning, recap, and uh, flip out is Whoa. broken. Yeah, wait till the very end on the flip out to break. Oh, command throw puts him down, steals the meter at the end. So you have a few options after that command throw from Gargos. As you can see, you can hold forward and you throw him across the screen. You can hold up, you get the damage. Well, down the will pound. set them ground uh, down, and back will steal the meter. This is going to be big yeah. uh, chance now for Jackal. Locked out. Oh, summons the Ooh, yeah. the homie, yeah, the little one, yeah. So the one that wants to get in your face. Yes, exactly. There's two minions that you can summon. There's the fat one and the skinny one. That's how you can tell them apart. Instinct now popped for Jackal. Ooh, good break. It was a guess from Devil May Care, but a good guess. Sets out the minion. gets rid of the first little homie just to summon a second. Yeah, little homie out. You can see this one is called Stabby or Skinny. <laughs> and uh, he's got a little pitchfork he likes to use. That's going to be damage off the command throw, and Chip will do it. Yeah. And that was a full duration instinct for the Gargos as well. Yeah, you got to use the whole instinct, which isn't common. Uh, you know, Gargos instinct usually gets stuffed out or they get stuck in some kind of sweep loop, so they have to burst out. Nice uh, combo break, keeping the first health bar alive. Oh, shadow counter attempt, but yeah, it was the command throw in this patch, of course. TJ combo uh, command throw does the full damage like it's supposed to. It was glitched out for a while there. So uh, good to see that it is fixed again. Anti air is good from Jackal. Yeah, One of the up. better anti airs in the game. Whoa, what a conversion. Yeah, I can't believe he got that. Dude, it's it was like like some crazy air to air guilty gear confirm or something. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, hitting the little homie and guard goes at the same time. Yeah, combo, coast to coast combo. There's the cash out mid air. Doesn't even need the recap yet. Flip oh, out. Reset. Yeah, this is great positioning now for Devil yeah. May Care working on this round. Can hit the minion. And that's a mistake to block there against the Gargos. You don't want to block that. You want to avoid it and punish. Knee in, and that forces the burst. Oh, yeah. Ah, other side, command throw reset. Oh, and the oh, little homies. The little homie what a combo. On the side. That was so crazy. He did the, the oh. throw at the end, immediately got in there. Little homie comboed. And that's what you expect out of the minions. So you are fighting three characters right now, and he's locked out. Oh, the land, and he's got him off the wall. Summon the minion again. Both are out. Oh, bro, how are you going to get through three people? Yeah, that's punished on the other three side. Should be ultra? No. Surprised that there was that error from Jackal, but now going to get this full screen. Wow. TJ combo clears out the minions, and this is a big chance for him. Roller coaster, command throw. Nice. Recapture will do it. <gasps> no, the cash out might do it. It's the game Ooh. for Devil May Care. I was so slick, dude. Three demons, no problem. Yeah, because when he gets that Ultra Ender and TJ punches the ground, and of course clears them out. Uh, and the sick thing, too, is that, you know, Devil May Care did a great job of confirming that combo. He had the uh, command throw, right? But did Fierce into Shadow cash out instead of recapping. Oh. Genius, dude. It's so smart right there. Instead of going for the risky Tremor recapture to just take that air damage, afterwards you get Fierce. That's not breakable because your opponent dies from that button. Yep. Uh, super smart stuff from Devil May Care. And I like Devil May Care, even though winning the game doesn't immediately rush in, still takes his time to collect himself and go into the next game. 
Nice little uh, combo from him. You can see the early damage from TJ. It's real great. That's one of the strengths of him in this uh, season. Really strong offense, pressure. TJ combos now. He has the TJ combinations. Oh, and the command throw to put him back into the corner. Very nice. Oh, it doesn't get it. It's a drop, but he gets the TJ barrage anyway. And he's locked out. So many big damage. He actually manual the Shadow Linker there. That was sick. Flip out and the low. Yeah, if he can get the, the cash out here, it'll wow. be the round. What a combo, but he, he uh, accidentally blew it out at the end. Goes into the instant. Actually opens him up, gets him locked out as well. Just big combo damage, uh, at least for Gargos, who doesn't do a lot. Ah, oh, was expecting counter break. Yeah, there wasn't one. And you know, Devil May Care kind of goofed the punish. Oh, that's not going to reach. Uh, he just caught him at the tail end of it. We have punish. Jackal with great manuals, but a breaker on the medium linker. That's a good combo break. Oh, Overall he tried to forward. air. Yeah, trying to close the distance very quickly. Look for the air to air. I like the float and command throw from Jackal. He can set out minions. This is really good from Jackal, bringing so much health back after he's down to a pixel to almost a full health bar. Yeah, I love the chance, the, the fact that he confirmed off that air hit. Wake up, Tremor! Look, right. this is why TJ players have no friends, dude. <laughs> Start doing stuff like that, I don't know how I'm feeling. <laughs> Can't play with you anymore, man. Oh, missed input from uh, Devil May Care. Gets the better of the situation anyway. Absolutely. Cash out. You see the minion just laying down. So previous patches, uh, that minion would get up and fight again. But now it's not the case, right? It's just going to hang out down there when Gargos is knocked down. What a counter break. Nice counter and That's you know, good. you're okay with that if you're Devil May Care, right? Because yeah. it's the end of the life bar. It's all right. He gets the minion out, but it's not the end of the world to eat the rest of that. Definitely not. Try to get a match him in the air right as the second round started. Knocked down. That minion keeps it up. And I love the float away from Jackal. Man, the minion's combo. He's got the whole squad there. He's going to be able to steal the meter. Very nice. Oh, actually pulls back to the original side and locks him out for the big combo. Yeah, damage ender at the end. The dunk. The shadow Woo! is Zuna. Oh, lands on the other side. The minion missed. And we're back in there with TJ combo. Flips Instinct. Out. He has a mix up here. What's it gonna be for TJ? Hit, and that should be that should be the round. Uh, yeah. But TJ's coming back. Try to immediately combo break because he knows he's coming back with the instinct anyway. So yeah, in good attempt. Minion is out of there. Still, there's instinct for Gargos. Your eyes right, just about to end though, as it does. So, a little bit of chip. Yeah, that's what that's about. A little bit of chip. It also turns into a full screen combo if it happens to land. Flow. Oh, the other side, and even had a pick up on the other side with Stan Light Kick. So Jackal doing good work with Gargo so far. I like the minions. I like the way he's playing the neutral. He's doing good work, uh, and so is you know Devil May Care. Obviously not out of it. It's one yeah, one. absolutely not. I really do like Jackal's use of the minions, like you said. Though, pretty much had him on screen for most of the first two games. Yeah, and every time that he had the opportunity to summon, he spent meter on summoning them. Right? Uh, he's not spending meter on combo damage unless they're bold out. Yeah. Steals meter again, and that's what you have to do as Gargo to build meter for those minions. Right? You don't get too greedy on just taking damage on the command throw. Yep. But with TJ combo, oh, I was going to say. Yeah, big drop. He could get roundhouse into uh, low jab. Tried for a shadow counter, and now he's locked out. That's the damage so much. TJ gets the full barrage. Oh, counter hit overhead. Couple of counter hits for TJ. Shadow. Oh, it's stuffed because he crossed up. Yeah, it doesn't hit on both sides. Got to be a guess, and there it is. Double make care of staying alive in the round. He's been able to make him block the instant activation pretty consistently. Yeah, and then afterwards it's gone to command throw quite a few times. He gets minion summon. Devil May Care pops his instinct, although it gets stuffed, and the explosion immediately. Oh, nice. Forced the burst, and there it is. You know, Devil May Care has been guest breaking after that a Absolutely. couple of times. So why not just take it? Going to take the damage at the end. Minion summon as well, so both are out. Yeah, that's a dream, dream ender for Gargos right there. Gets the damage to kill off his first bar and the second minion, and a combo to start off in the corner. Yes, that's a down. But he has the coverage. You see, even though command throw whiffs, minions are out. Lost the skinny one, but he's still got uh, the other minion. You know, the difference between the minions, right? Uh, the chubbier one obviously has additional health since he's the bigger boy. Uh, and so that's three hits he can take. Skinnier one has two hits he can take. A bit more fragile. Combo break is there. The chubby one's coming back. Oh, immediately gets rush punch. You're out of yeah. here. Duffed. There's that link again. You see the minion still knocked down. Oh, no breaker oh, damage. Oh That's a chunk. That's 62%. It's 
gonna be air recap. No, he doesn't go for the command throw out of the air. Oh, actually hit him with a jump normal. First. Explosion, yeah. Oh, managed to avoid the little homie jumping. I don't know, it's good stuff. And that's that's gonna be it. All yeah, three hit points here. gone. He's gonna be able to shadow counter. Although TJ is working on instincts soon anyway. Break rate, the gas breaks on those are so consistent. Again. Oh, shadow oh, counter was early. Up. And this should be it if he closes out the barrage, and he does. Devil May Care with the TJ. I want you guys to know, dude, when he hit that big combo into the barrage, he looked me right in the eye and nodded. I was like, yeah, dude, <laughs> I got right. those. Yeah. You like that 80% combo? Yeah, me too, dude. <laughs> I'm hitting those. That was good stuff, yes sir. As you, as like that's what we see in the difference of the characters. You know, TJ combo always just getting that damage every time he hits you. And but with Gargos, he has to establish the meter advantage first to get the minions out. A little bit of a trade, and so far Devil May Care has been coming out on top. Yeah, he's doing a good job of killing the minions and then pressuring Gargos, who's pretty weak on defense uh, in general. Counter break oh, early, very nice. You know, that, that situation's been broken so many times, you gotta expect that he'll counter break eventually. 60% off that counter breaker. This is an immaculate start for Devil May Care in the third, in the fourth game. Yeah, he gets the flip out here. Ah, oh, it was jab instead of the uh, light kick flip out, but still broken. Oh, dash command throw? All right, well, he has minion. And the wake up just Wow. Jab. <laughs> yeah, actually, he's air to air. And that'll do it for the round for Devil May Care. He doesn't got any hit points down on the minion yet, but... It's not so bad uh, considering out the round. You can maybe tag him here. You see him backdash trying to. Instinct pop. Stand medium punch is good. Great combo, and this is going to be okay damage. He has no meter, though. So he can't shadow cash out. Yeah, he just takes the meter. Nice, good idea. Another big chunk of meter. No combo on that low medium punch into the dash. Both minions now out. TJ combo still on that first health bar. Just for the ground pound. Oh, gets Good break. Nice. It was a good guess that medium punch would be out. I mean, at that range, that's a Gargoyle's button to hit. He is coming to stab. Yeah. Oh, but he got dumped for nice. his, his uh, pleasure. Ah, stand medium kick stuff. So, you know, that Shadow Tremor, not invincible. It's just pretty good about catching people out of the air is all. Yeah, hit him, and that should be the second hit. Yeah, stand Both minions gone. are down. Tick command throw. That hasn't been successfully avoided, really, by Jackal. And look, dude, TJ combo right there, medium punch, heavy punch, target combo has caught backdash yeah. consistently. And that damage in there right there was significant chunks of damage. Oh, yeah. One minion out. Oh, he chunks throws his matter. boy? You're just going to toss him like that? Get in there. Minion out now. Both are out. This is a bad spot for Devil May Care. He still just needs one opening. Oh, ch chunks him again. Big damage. Okay, so since it's a range combo, yeah, it, the KV built up fast, but it's not a lot anyway. Wow. Jump in. This could be the start of the comeback. Steal some meter. Sends out the uh, mix-up potential. He got him. Break was so clutch from Devil May wow. Care. He got caught out of the air, but reset. Still has instinct as well, so he's going to come back even if he, if he dies here. One minion is dead. Oh, no. It's Breaker on the, the ranged uh, projectile again. No, Devil May Care. Is approaching in. What a break again. He's so low on life. He still has the comeback. Oh, oh and the power line oh from full screen. Devil May Care is going to take it 3-1. You see Jackal head in the hands, and that will do it for his run here at SCR. This is, you can see these guys are teammates, emotional. Oh, super. Yeah, it's a super tough loss to take. I mean, it's top eight action already, you know, dragging the window onto the screen. It's it's one of those scenarios. It's just it's tough to do. Yeah, it's, it's tough, man. You put... A lot of effort, a lot of brain power into this game, and you know when you gotta, you gotta be happy about losing. You can't be happy about losing, but when it's top eight, top four even, yeah. and losing to your teammate, I mean that's really the best case loss you can ask for. Right? Yeah. Always losing to your teammate, it's it's tougher in some sense because you know it's somebody you play with a lot, somebody you respect. Uh, but it's better to lose to a teammate than someone else, right? Exactly. So. Like you said, it's somebody you respect. Yes. You know what I mean? So it, it hurts because you play each other, you train a lot to get to this. Right. To get to the top eight, to win these tournaments. Dude, it's so unfortunate they had to play too. It's just the way brackets work out. Maybe if one of them had qualified in winners, other than losers, it wouldn't have been an issue. Uh, we got more lose bracket matches coming up. Yes, sir. Looks like Jackal has left the stage. Uh, after a super good showing, you know, getting top eight is super tough to do. Uh, this is also a Killer Instinct Cup qualifier. Yes, sir. So a lot of people uh, found out, including myself, on, I think, like Thursday or Wednesday oh, when wow. it was announced. Uh, so, yeah, it's Killer Instinct Cup qualifier as well. And I really enjoyed his Gargos, too. Yeah, his, sure. his Gargos is awesome. So you can see the loser's bracket action right here coming up. We got Devil May Care, who had just advanced over his teammate Jackal. We'll be playing LCD. 
at losers' quarters. Definitely not top four action. Uh, a lot yeah, of the bracket I'm remaining. High. Excuse me. So, other side of losers, it's going to be Gnarly Feats versus Runex. Both of these players top eight at EVO this year. Uh, so, we'll see how they do here at SCR. Yes, sir. Hollywood Sleep, you guys know. Another one of the uh, usually top, plays in top eight at any KI tournament he goes to. Dude, I mean, he's the EVO champ. Yep. Top eight at every event known to mankind. Uh, so, yeah, super strong player here at SCR 2016. Dropped into the loser's bracket by Nikki's Fulgore. Oh, man. Who uh, put a real Duncan on him with uh, that Conrad pick. I'm surprised. You know, there's a few characters that he plays, and Sleeve is so good that uh, I thought he might try another character, but he was committed to the Conrad pick. So, interesting to see. Again, as a reminder, Runex versus Gnarly Feats, our next match. Both of these people top eight at EVO this year. Nice. Uh, super strong performance. So we should be getting some very fierce competition coming up. Of course, it is top eight, so you can expect nothing else. C4, Gnarly Feats versus GSG, Runex. Yeah, it looks like, man, this menu music is so good. Yeah, you know, all the music in Killer Instinct, I think, is really good, especially the menu, of course. You know, I'm real happy about the music in this game because I've been listening to MK all day and the matches are so good. But then all you hear is like squish, squash. Yeah, I really like punches. the sound effects, but no soundtrack. There's no music, right? Yeah, I was just I talking to Ultra music. David about that earlier. He yeah. said he wished there was soundtrack in MKX. Dude, he's like number one hater on MKX soundtrack. Yeah. He's number one, dude. Yeah. So we have Gnarly Feats rocking the Rash. It's Runex rocking the Omen. Yeah, so both of these guys top eight duo this year, as I mentioned. Runex playing both Rash and Omen. Okay. Uh, Gnarly Feats plays Rash and Orchid. Nice. So looks like he's going to start with the uh, Rash pick. Ooh, the Omen, back. he has really great grounded buttons. Pressure is really strong and safe with the fireballs. And Nurit's going to be wall splat. And he has one of the best wall splats in the game since it carries to the corner from so far away. It's that Wrecking Ball Ender. Let's take on the throw. Oh, the boot loops. And the juggles afterwards, that's what you gotta expect from Rash. We'll see what the media is. Ah, just jumps when he sees Shadow Form. Yep. Shadow Form from Omen, of course. Defensive reversal, it costs a bar to do, and it's uh, invincible. Oh, knocked out, just chooses to throw him, though, back into the corner. Wants that positional advantage. Now he can get Fireball out, and the Fireball just floated away. He didn't get a good pattern. Ah, uh, punish. Oh, yeah, trying for the Shadow Counter, did not succeed. See a lot of resets so far from Runix. He can pick this combo up. No, it was a little far. A little far on the uh, headbutt. Wrecking Ball hit armor, gets through. He crumbles off the bike, but a medium linker broken. Uh, Runix. Stone instinct. Yeah, short combo. He could have extended and maybe got the round. This is going to be pressure into chip into death. Nice. Good stuff from Runix in the first game. Of course, Rash doesn't have too much ground to make up. That's yeah, just a little bit of life. You see that roundhouse? That is hit confirmable in the boot. That was a oh, sick shadow form. Oh my god. Dude, that boot has such a big hitbox and he got out of the way. That was actually a breakable combo too, and Gnarly Feats just locked out. And this is so much damage. Runex's first life bar still available as well. Oh, the oh. jump in will put it into that. Ooh, we're gonna get to see the whole dance the whole time. Ooh, ooh. Boots, and boots, boots. That shadow form. That, was, that no shadow so avoided the big boot was so sick. Yeah, Mira does the same kind of thing uh, with her mist. It's, it's one of the things that makes the character strong. That mix up was kind of that's kind of jank, dude. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. Sends out all the fireballs. Uh, you can boot here. Oh, the shadow form again. Again, we're out of there. Oh wow. Yeah, he eats the projectile. Rash can eat projectiles and gain meter back for it. Bike, yes, and it is a recapture. Little combo uh, locked, locked out. out. See what the ender is? Wrecking ball again for that wall splat. Oh yeah, tried for the throw afterwards. See that stand light kick is harassing with it. Oh, the counter break the is counter good. Counter break is so clutch right now. But we'll see if Rash has enough damage for the round. Probably not, yeah. Oh, the slide. And he baits the throw with the back dash. Dang, Runex. What a what a choice in that situation, right? He got the slide under. Back dash, gnarly beats with the tech, immediate punish, ultra. Was too sick. Runex is really showing some stuff. Yeah, he's even. Yeah, he saw a little smile on him. He knows. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Oh, I forgot this is a real game, and players can choose whether they want to rematch or not. That's let's go. I forgot we're playing a real game. Let's go. Oh yes, sir. And Rash eats a projectile to start it off. Gets some meter. Oh, baits the throw and gets to the other side. It's been a lot of light auto doubles and uh, just a mix on the linkers for gnarly feats. Like you said, that wall splat ender carries him so far to the corner. Yeah, one of the best enders. Oh, best wall splats in the game. 
Now Runex has been scary in the corner. He's been resetting his combos with throw a lot. Or flip out. Yeah, that's good. Confirm. That's when Rash gets right. Stand medium kick into the tongue. Straight carry to the corner. Extended juggle, but didn't keep it up too far. Man, is it? Goes the shadow form. Not going to help him this time. Yeah, there's the break on the boot. I mean, it's a bit easier this patch. Wow, reversal. You can get chip uh, if you can force a block in a shadow boot. But he was a little too eager. Ended up getting hit, but a little too eager back on the side of Omen as he tries for the counter breaker, and there was nothing to be found. Yeah, dude, he really was just feeling it, right? That's that's how it can happen sometimes. See Rash eating those projectiles for a bit of meter. Yeah, he's 100% now. And that, and that full meter means uh, shadow boots. Like right here. No, he let him get hit by the car. That was really smart. The bike came in to stagger. And there it is, a recapture and a stagger. Getting quite get the combo though. And he gets locked out. It should be the end of Rash's first health bar. Yep, spends it uh, spends a little bit of bar, but of course, Meter building ender, that's the battery ender to get some back, so he's all right. Back, Ooh. Ooh. all the mix ups. Oh, and a great defense. Block. Yeah. Confirm, and he gets the corner carry. No. You know, he's had a few drops on those air target combos. Oh, try for the shadow counter, doesn't get it. We're in the corner now, front throw. There again, falls on him, gets the carry with Wrecking Ball. Look to maybe bait throw. Yeah, Rinex has got to guess. Okay. Still instinct available for Runex as well. As well. He's going to pop it, slide. No, he wants the shadow combo instead. Dang, the break on that. That was so brave. Long, long distance. Yeah, but he has no shadow meter available, does Rash, because you can see in the bottom left, locked out. If you get hit by uh, Omen's projectiles while in instinct, that'll happen. Yep. Dude, the pressure and the defense from Gnarly Feats. What a crazy series of blocks from there. Yeah, he's playing super solid. Nice. Eats the projectile again. Oh, shadow form out. Oh, got him, and it's a lockout. He was ready. One up. Uh, Gnarly Feats plays so solid that game. Yeah, defense is incredible. These cameos are killing me. All right, one apiece. Oh, yeah, Omen using the shadow form, using the fireballs, applying pressure from every direction, and Gnarly Feats was taking it just with a smile. Just down back, dude. That's all it was. He just hung out was like, all right, I'm going to block my way through this. Character selects, Runex, thinking about it. He plays Rash himself. We could see the mirror. Oh boy. Funky match. I'm sure you and I are the expert commentators on Rash mirrors. Oh, yeah. No one knows it better. Oh, dude. Okay. It's back to Omen. Okay. Yeah, and Omen, it's tough for him to play a real controlled matchup against Rash because the projectiles, it's a random array. Yeah. Uh, so real tough to see what's going to happen. Game three, we're all tied up 1-1 here. Of course, this is your Killer Instinct Top 8 at SCR 2016. If you want to give your thoughts on the, the event, please use the hashtag SCR 2016. Yep. Let's go to game three. This is 1-1. Good way to chat with us. Let us know how you're feeling. You see that little meter gain? Yeah, almost the bar already for uh, Gnarly Feats. Just a couple of projectiles absorbed. Heavy Linker is not broken, but the light doubles are. Okay, first time Gnarly Feats has completed an air juggle and turned it into some damage this set. Takes the throw, and you know, Gnarly Feats is probably okay with that, given that the throw is not nearly as much damage as the combo would have been. We'll see what the ender is going to be. Wall Splat still, he's committed to it. The yeah, throw is the almost going to do it. If he could force Runex to block something, he can chip out. Yeah, Runex has been pretty good about breaking the throw after the Wall Splat ender, but that time he got caught slipping. Yeah, you Might don't always want to go. Else. Right. Breaker again from Gnarly. Rash is locked out of his meter currently. Yeah, no meter to work with, and that's where the chip will come. All right, just hanging on this neutral. Yeah, it does Wrecking have ball. Oh. Yeah, one in armor. I was just going to say, he had access to a shadow meter again, but just as he does that, runs into another fireball. Oh, runs into the bike. That's what you have to be worried about when their ash pops that instinct. Even if he doesn't have shadow for a boot, you know the bike is coming. The speedster. Oh, wow. Going to pull Rash in the car. Let's see if he can keep him locked in here, and he will get the first life bar with the fireball. Yeah, good work to uh, Runex. Played slow, but I'm surprised he gave up corner positioning after. Yeah. Heavy boot. And there's the wrecking ball. Can cash. No, he didn't keep up the combo. And that's what I mean about him converting these air combos 
You know, it's great that Rash can get the juggles, but you gotta turn it into something. Nice. He's gonna switch sides, put him back in the corner. Very good positioning. Yeah, heavy doubles into the Van Dam kicks to end. Confirms from Gnarly. That's what that low forward tongue is about. Shadow form to get away from uh, Rash, and now pressure for Runex. Oh, punish. Uh, didn't get the cancel, though. There's the punish. Doesn't break this time. There were so many breaks from Gnarly at the start of the round, but he doesn't risk it now because Counterbreaker will be to death. Oh, no. He's got yeah. hella projectiles. Oh, oh! So little damage, though. 6% and he got hit by three or four of them. This not goes back to the instinct himself. Oh, actually gets the jump and doesn't come off of it. The boot. Oh, you know he wanted the bike to come out, but it didn't. And a game for Runex. See a little smile? See that smile? That's how you know he's a Rash player at heart, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. 100%. Bouncing up in his chair a little bit, sticking the tongue out, just like his boy Rash. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. He's he's beaten his own character. He says, you, you know what? I got top eight with this character Devo, right? You think I don't know how to fight him? Know this. I know what I'm doing, I'm a professional. Nice absorbs two fireballs, almost has a full bar. Now he beats is really great about sticking out light kick and light punch in that chain that he has. See that one? And confirming it into damage. Ah, not a good punish from Gnarly Feats, but still didn't take the brain on the counter break. Oh, but he gets thrown back into the corner right after that. Dancing on him with the lockout. Yeah, it's going to be probably a uh, wall splat. No, he goes for damage finally. Alright, 42%. Nice, another shadow form. He's so consistent with that, getting out of the situation. Got the reset, the slide, and you have to guess what strength it's going to be. Pressure now for Runex. Oh, Ooh. back in the front. Man. Same side. All right, I would have heck, I would have got hit by that for sure. Dude. <laughs> There's no way. Recapture is good from Gnarly. It should be the round. He can end with damage, and that'll do it. And he made sure he used the shadow boot. 29% damage, too. Nice little chunk for a short combo. All right, Runex gets the round. He's going to be able to keep this up and uh, build himself some bar. You see in the bottom right, full meter now for Runex. He could bring out that Dark Catastrophe, uh, maybe. Man, him eating the fireball is so good. Whip punish. Ah, medium wrecking ball, and he knew. Great pressure from Runex, spends a bar, and two fireballs hit him out of the air, but that's a little damage for Gnarly Feats to eat. I don't think he minds. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't, it's not like he gets locked out of his meter or anything. Yeah, with no instinct, it's not too, that, not too threatening. Gnarly Feats really in footsies now, being insistent on this run idea. Yeah, again, yeah, he's been breaking that throw very consistently. He might want to try to switch it up. There's a reversal. Oh, whiff throw could have been punished by Gnarly. He didn't have it in time. Gas break. But no, it could have been a longer combo from Gnarly Feats. I think a bit of a mistake. We'll see yeah, if it's a critical one. Yeah, it seemed like he didn't recognize he got the lockout in time. Yeah, it could have been so much more. Oh, got to turn this into a combo. Locked out, but no, he's... Dude, Gnarly has got to figure out what he's doing with these air juggles. These cameos are killing me. Because whatever he's trying, he just keeps dropping it. Yeah. And it didn't cost him the game there, but it definitely can. You've seen the, yeah. the, the work Runex has done on this omen. And he goes straight into it this time, not even thinking about it. Any type of character selected. It's 2 2, last game. Nice, gets under. I go for the full combo, but the heavy combo, the combo breaker. Yeah, heavy doubles are broken. Yeah, he's being real consistent about absorbing a lot of the fireballs as well. It's good stuff from Gnarly Feats. It feels like a game five. These players are playing a little bit more careful than they yeah, have. Yeah, you can uh, see the patience, right? And it's working out for Runex. Ah, with throw, and has a punish, but not turned into much. Yes, unsafe on the boot, but has the follow-up and instinct. Good combo breaker. Tries to get back in there with a the shadow. Gets hit by the instinct. Yeah, the instinct bike has been such an, a problem so far for Runex. <laughs> Again, absorbing the fireballs. I love it. Good blocks from Gnarly. Finally gets opened up by the throw. Close to chip as well, you gotta watch out for the shadow projectile and gets thrown out of it. Tongue, not plus. Yeah, uh, so, gonna just get tagged. Ooh. Throw again, and I think Gnarly has kind of accepted that he'll eat the throw. Wow, and actually he got one of the fireballs just as it left his hand that time. Yeah, nice little snack for him. Meter for Rash every time he does that. Nice, Big Boo doesn't let him keep up the pressure after the dive. 
Nice break on the throw. Gnarly Peach knows she's got to make something big happen. Maroon next with the combo break, not letting it. Another one. Gnarly Peach has a lot of ground to make up. There's a throw. Right into a throw. Activates the instinct. Yeah, and that's going to lock out the meter. So no reversal for Rash besides his instinct. Okay, what she does have on deck, another break on the throw. Spends more bar for this pressure. It's just been chipped. Oh, man. Man, Runex pressure is so tough to deal with. Finally, Gnarly with the jump out. Can be the round if he spends bar. That'll do it. Level 4 damage ender. It's going to be big. Ah, Ooh, juggle. actually trades on the jump in, yeah. Oh, panic and oh, reversal. No. That was a big risk. It's going to be juggle with the car. Yeah. Yes, and he and he's locked out. Huge damage. Going to actually uh, even things up here oh on that wrecking God. ball. Did the frame trap. And Runex gets hit. Shadow forms trap. out. Reversal hits. Now no meter for gnarly feats. He's got to guess in ultra. He guesses he right. Hits him with the air to air. Boot is blocked. The forward fierce. It could be ultra. No, he What dropped. happened? He goes to the shadow fireballs. Chip. And there it is, Runex over Gnarly. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. oh my goodness. The double oh, down. Did Holy you see? Moly. He went for the handshake, and Gnarly Feats was like, oh, I don't know about all that. Put your hands and arms back inside the ride at all time, friend. <laughs> that was great. Double swag that from uh, Mr. Runex here. You saw that wasn't even a normal one. Dude. Uh, he flipped the wrist and everything. Like, first of all, I can't even hit the level one that he did. <laughs> yeah, but then right? he busted out the level two, and I was like, this is too advanced, dude. That was sick. That was the shadow. I need to hit too. training mode before I'm ready for all that. Like, <laughs> yeah. he, he started doing all this hand stuff, and me over here, I was like, <laughs> don't hurt me, dude. Hit that flick of the wrist, man. That was some good stuff from Runex. I wasn't ready for that level of I love ability it. to move his body, you know? That's, I love it. It's above my pay grade. <laughs> uh, which here at SCR is not a lot. Here we go. Looks like there's the bracket. It's going to be LCD coming up to the stage. He'll be playing against Devil May Care. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, we just sir. had this sick TJ match a minute ago. You guys saw him, uh, you know, really show off and really show why he's such a strong player. Of course, you guys saw the winner side of things just a minute ago. LCD got Dunkaroonied by Thompson. Yes, sir. Uh, that was Orchid versus. Uh, Jago. You know, LCD had a really interesting strategy in all of Season 3 so far. He was playing Kim Wu at the start of okay. the season. He complained for Kim Wu buffs for, you know, almost close to a year. Uh, Kim Wu got the buffs, immediately dropped the character for Orchid. It's a very interesting strategy. It's a bit untraditional. All right. It's not really what you'd expect. Yeah. It's like if you had two commentators on the mic and you realized, damn, we should have paid someone to do this and panic and then throw two new people in there halfway through top it's like eight that? it's very similar oh okay uh and that's it that's, seems like that yeah yeah that's what'll happen and that's you know what you're seeing here from lcd it looks like he's going to be up against a strong opponent though in devil may care and devil may care just came off of being his teammate you know that's an emotional high you gotta re right. remember to relax yourself and he did a good job of that in the previous set we saw yeah. when he got the win he still took the time to collect himself think about the matchup and not just rush into it so we're going to exactly. see LCD versus Devil May Care. Like you said, LCD not rocking that Kim Wu, rocking that Orchid. Yeah, definitely uh, the character he's gone to. You know, he played this character a bit in Season 1, played her a lot in Season 2, and is now stuck back to her in Season 3. Even gone so far to change his Twitter name to Orchid and refer to himself as Orchid in third person. What? This dude can't make it up. It's all real. You can Man, check it. LCD, quite the character. Yeah, dude. It's, it's like... He didn't want to cosplay because that would have been too much. Oh, okay. So he's like, what else can I do that's, like, close? <laughs> and that's what it is. So uh, now LCD with Orchid on player one. Devil May Care, player two with TJ Combo. Okay, so we're going to see. Who do you think, uh, what do you think about this matchup in general? So in, I think it's a matchup that's good for Orchid. Okay. Uh, traditionally, right, she was one of the characters that could lock down TJ the best in season two when he had weak, uh, Ooh, when he had, reset, you know, though. okay defense. Yeah, this is going to be big damage already. Reset uh, and combo or uh, knockout. The strength in this matchup, it's very volatile. It's about who knocks down who. So you're going to you're gonna see it here. When, there, when there's pressure, it's tough. Ah, confirmed from LCD. And he goes for throw afterwards. She has a couple of ways to follow that up. Knockout early. Shadow, yeah, it's going to be good damage. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a nice chunk. 44% for Orchid. Just think the elevation upon wake up. Yeah, no shadow counter available for LCD. He didn't have the meter. Ooh, and he gets the command through after taking it back to the corner. Yeah, it's tough to break so far, but drops it. This will be an uppercat. Yes, sir. That's zero frame instinct, baby. And you see, it doesn't do the air throw at the end. Recently in this patch, uh, that air throw is now breakable. Oh, okay. So that is a light breaker uh, that you'll see people try to break on the cap. Oh. Pressure from LCD. Wow, I should try the shadow counter. Nowhere to be found. There's the throw to close it out. Definitely care. Looking strong. Stands directly over her head. It's a good recovery from him. He did that backwards medium punch in the air. It's a cross up. That's going to be a good cro uh, shadow counter. Sick shadow counter. It's on the multi hitting uh, roller coaster that TJ went for. There's Kamal Ray just with the power line punch. Another one. Yeah, LCD just kind of got a little bit antsy on both of those and ate a good chunk for it. I thought that grenade was going to OTG or something. Dude. Yo, right? I thought for sure I was like, all right, OTG into a billion damage. Overhead connects. Oh, if he gets hit by this barrage, it's going to... Okay. Clutch the breaker. Light combo breaker. Very nice. Oh, activates instinct and goes straight into the shadow uppercut. Yeah, no throw at the end for LCD again. He's scared that there was going to be break. Oh, he can go right oh. in back fist ultra. No, oh, yeah, the break. And TJ still has instinct available, so second chance, even if he gets out of here. Got her? Nice, the power line from long distance. Yeah, and that was not too unsafe of a power line. Obviously, instinct was available. Dang, someone tried to offer him advice, and he put up the hand. Said, nah, don't say anything. <laughs> don't good. even think about trying to say something to me right now. I just whiff punished into a command throw reset, and now I have corner positioning versus LCD in game two. He said all of that with just the hand. Oh, early on the throw. Oh, yeah. Too much block stun. Oh, the mug is going to get the grenade to combo. And the lockout. Yeah, which means that throw is guaranteed there. Low, and the grenade makes it safe. Great anti air from uh, Devil May Care. Ah, breaker. Good stuff. That's the, that's the one you can see. The easy one to see there is going to be those uh, recaptures from TJ Combo. That should be the round. You can do the heavy doubles and end it. We have lockdown. No chance for the breaker, and good stuff from LCD. Does have that instinct taken down, though. Oh, wow. Jumps over and gets the jump in. Good combo break. Yeah, it's the breaker on the lights. Was expecting a throw tech from Devil May Care. Oh, he had the punish, but he got the uh, roller coaster. Or he got the wrong input, actually. He wanted back forward, probably. Late cancel at a caught oh, LCD. Oh, tricks. Nice. That's, uh, that's all tricks. No, it's no go. Yeah, not that time. And gets locked out. It's going to be real good damage for LCD and a hefty lead. Yeah, just one, one little hit from Danger. There it is, Ultra. So Super. coming back. It's coming back to life. But uh, big deficit. All right, oh, that's the round. And throw. Avoids the supreme victory. Let's see if you can avoid the victory altogether for LCD. He's going to build a bit of meter here at the end. Battery, Ender, yeah. Has two bars to work with. There's a couple of reversals or shadow linkers. Command throw. This is where the magic starts for TJ Combo. That was light, and LCD is locked out on it. All right, this is about 50% from TJ. And the wall bounces the command grab. Oh, shadow. shadow. No, man, that was a, a super choke from LCD. Get out and shadow uppercut. Uh, you know, it would have been a better option probably. I mean, maybe it wouldn't have connected fully at that range, but you got to commit to it. Regular uppercut didn't get the kill. And if he had lost because of that, dude, that was a mistake. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But it works out for LCD no matter what. I think he was just worried that Shadow Cat wouldn't fully juggle at that range. Okay. So it's tied up 1-1. One, one. LCD lets out a big sigh of uh, relief as we go into our third game. And he's starting the offense pretty well. Gets into the corner. Oh, trying to base something out there. This is Barrage, and he's done. Yeah, it's big damage. Oh, big jump fierce, and he gets locked out on medium punch doubles. Oh, gets the jump in. Yeah, and you see the short combos from LCD. He really cares more about positioning and setup than any kind of damage on a lot of these, unless there's an early lockout. Sir, not giving the opponent a chance to usually combo break either on the short combo. What a series in the corner. Oh, my. Devil May Care with the confirms. Oh, oh he's got the combo again. Ooh. It's going to be close to death. I love me some instinct TJ combo combos. What a whip punish on the Ooh. down jab and Devil May Care with the round. He's going to waste out this Orchid instinct. Yo, I see you feeling this, huh? You like the slugs? combo is, yeah, it's so good. Yo, he's a swinger. Go for the back fist and the command throw. 
There's the big cash out. You can see that nice chunk of damage up there before this combo has really even gotten deep. Flip out. Ah, a, a real smart shadow counter on the multi-hitting target combo. That's the round for LCD. Yeah, I got a soft spot on my heart for boxing characters, man. The first fighting game character I really fell in love with was Dudley in Third Strike. Good stuff. You have so, excellent taste. Yeah. Anti air is no good from Devil May Care. LCD tasting a knockdown. And the jump Ooh. over. Ah, the link. He gets oh, locked out. The yeah. timing was funky. It's going to be huge damage in danger oh now. 61%. Oh, the fierce into the roll, and that's the round. There was so much blocks on LCD not ready to pop that instinct to get out of there. Devil May Care up 2-1. I feel like that's the fastest match of our top base so far. Like, single match, you know? Yeah, dude, that was quick. It, it was a mauling. TJ combo went in. Well, let's see, and LCD actually going back to the character select screen, so we get to hear some lovely music. Oh, just for a bit. Yeah, a game, a game with excellent music. The ability to decide whether you want to go back to character select after a match instead of letting player one decide. <laughs> Having to thumbs up your opponent in the middle of the that set. That is the worst thing. Feeling mad, uncomfortable. <clears throat> Dude, it's the worst. I don't want to give you a thumbs up when you just beat me. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you know when someone double perfects you and they get, to, they get all up in your face and then they hit you with a big thumbs up <laughs> and you got to shoot one back at them? Dude. <laughs> That is, uh, that is not the stuff. Uh, yeah, LCD doing this thing at the character select where he hovered like eight other characters, but we knew he was going to Orchid, so we were just talking about Yeah, he refer Fighter. like you said, he refers to himself in the third person as Orchid. Yeah, dude. So why would he choose Look, the other character? In-game mix-ups not working for LCD. Out-of-game mix-ups not working for LCD. He's got to figure it out and tighten up here. Yes, sir. Devil May Care is looking to take him to the house with his TJ combo. Looking for a top four finish. And you know, dude, there's no one that's been grinding harder than Devil May Care. Okay. He has been putting in the work. He's been trying it all so season. so intense, man. He is very focused. Dude, this means a lot. He's been trying all season to get these top eights. He's made it here in SCR. Wants to try to run deep. That's a punish on power line. Who interrupts the normal from Orchid. Better check yourself. Nice combo breaker. Yeah, it was 20% before the break, though. Ender, it's going to be set up now for LCD cross-up. Oh. Not much you can do about that as TJ. You're pretty much stuck. The Did you see him walk up because of all the block stun? Yeah. He was like, all right, let me just casually stroll up, hit this TJ combination. Ah, uh, got low. Yeah, but LCD, that was very good awareness. He was ready with the shadow counter. For sure. Good round from LCD. Spent that instinct to Devil May Care. Uh, interrupt, and he's, he's going to be far from the grenade. Good block oh, yeah, and good, good patience from LCD. That uh, oh, little sc scenario worked the other round, but not this game. Nice. It's the common breaker. A little patience there from both players, kind of just staring at each other. Gets command grab for his trouble. Spends a bit of bar on this cash out. LCD, no break on the heavy recap. Throw will take it. Oh, lock out at the very end. Ah, autocorrect uppercut. Nice. This yeah, pressure is so tight, so tough to deal with from LCD. Opened up once again. Spends the bar. And this could be the game. Yeah, he still has instincts. So. It is the game. All right. The war round, I guess I should say. He's going to come back up, but it's a long road. Dude, he just backfist? <laughs> All right. Well, apparently you're just going to slap Orchid in the face. <laughs> Ants here. Nice. Still has uh, a chance. No more instinct left for TJ. That is heavy. Yeah, you can see it. Three hits on the Vortex. Didn't break it last time, but was ready and willing to do it this time. But yeah. a command throw is going to put him back in the corner. LCD actually missed his punish on the uh, oh, drop. Oh, no. Yeah. But he's safe? Yeah. Actually oh, punish. The punish in time. It punishes that for sure. Ah, uh, breaker from LCD. He was ready. He has instinct now. Oh, Dunk. Hits it from long distance. Knockdown. That is danger oh, now for LCD. God. Ah, definitely Nothing. overzealous. Yeah. Was Devil May Care. Didn't expect him to have the reactions to instinct. Should have done was uh, power line fake. LCD would have popped the instinct, then it would have been neutral. Absolutely, that was been a supreme idea. Like you said, just a little overzealous. You can clearly see the command throw start up. Easy instinct cancel from LCD, and then from there, zero frame shadow uppercut takes the round as he is going to take a moment to collect himself. Thinking about it, someone said something nice. They gave him the big thumb Marino. <laughs> Yeah, LCD head in his hands. He just won the round, but he's just taking some time to collect himself. Yeah, still think about it. it. I mean, it's 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 a close series. I mean, it's final game already. The matches have been so close so far. Yeah, and so much is on the line. It's top eight. Ki, uh, Ki, ah, Ki Cup World, Qual World Cup qualifier. Exactly. You want to get that spot. Whoa. 
wall That's splat. Early lead for LCD. Start for LCD. Goes with the overhead reset. And the wall splats. You can see that low short. He was looking for a reset. Oh and what a God. man around this is. Perfect to start the first round. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. It's the control. That's where the matchup really boils down to. What a jump. He's used to the command throw timings now. He made some good adjustments. Definitely making it. Now he's trying to use the power line feints, but maybe not working too much. Grenade out, gets the, the walk up pressure. Good little counter poke from Devil May Care, but not enough. This is huge damage output. Can get a set of doubles and a linker. Yeah, you gotta put him in danger. Nice with the tech though that time. Ah, uh, that long is distance. It triple do it. Yeah, and he got him. Devil May Care gonna need a miracle here to keep yeah. himself alive in the tournament. And this is what's so dangerous about Orkin in the matchup. You see the control she has on knockdown. That is Ultra, and that is that LCD over Devil May Care. 3 2, close set. That was so close. Yeah, last game was a bit one sided. One yeah. Close, but uh, that's what this matchup boils down to. It's super, super, super volatile. Either player could really turn it on at any point. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, I think uh, LCD's Orchid had a little bit of the advantage defensive-wise. He had the instinct, the shadow uppercut. He was able to get out of certain situations. Right. But when Devil May Care had to be on the defensive, it seemed like he had no answer for the pressure. It's tough, dude. You either gotta risk it 100% with down up, two punch, shadow vortex, or you're blocking, or you're yeah. backdashing. Like, you don't have great options. It's not the best. As you see them casually stroll off behind us. Yes, sir. Meandering down this aisle filled with lovely products and commentators on the desk. Split Whoa. frame Hyper X game converter from Brooks right here. You guys all know the deals. We're going to have, I believe, Sleep products. stepping up. So it looks like it's going to be Sleep uh, up next on stage versus Runex. I already see Rick, Ooh. a.k.a. the Hado, who runs Combo Breaker, yelling things at Sleep. <laughs> number one sleep cheerleader. Uh, oh, yeah? Dude, number one sleep cheerleader, okay. 100%. Is there any re specific reason for that? Play the same character? Or both from the Midwest. Oh, okay. Both. You know how these I Midwesterners you. are. They're, They're so Midwest. passionate about their region, which is clearly the not the best region. But, uh, you know, it's, it's all about uh, what you believe in. Yeah, dude, if you, I mean, if you think that, like, ketchup is better than mustard, like, you're allowed to be wrong. That's, like, totally fine. But you're still wrong. Wait, so you're saying mustard's better than ketchup? Yeah, 100%. Uh, we'll, we won't talk about this on stream. It's all right. It's definitely not a Midwest thing. They got a lot of they got a lot of wrong opinions. Dude, like, how many types of right. mustards are there? You wanna, let's, let's talk about this. Oh how many types of mustards yeah. are there, dude? There's so I many. I don't care. There's so many, and they're all good. But ketchup is better than all of them. Dude, ketchup is not that great. Whatever, dude. I, I really don't see the appeal. Like, dude, spicy mustard, better than any ketchup. You need to catch up to my taste buds and get off this mustard, all right? Wow. Yeah. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> You're just going to James Chen me? I commentate with that full eight hours today. I can't even stand to look at him anymore. You're going to hit me with this this mustard, this catch up to me. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I wasn't even the one. Yeah, I wasn't even the one commentating with him. I didn't even get infected. It's just by proxy. Dude. Just from being in the same building, you can get infected with the puns from James Chen. Ooh, Sounds like catch up eating person's problems, bro. <laughs> just ketchup. Hashtag just ketchup problems. Oh, my God. As we saw sleep. Only being good with, like, one kind of food. Wait, hold on. I want to get back on this for okay, just a wait, second. Wait, wait. Just sorry, a sorry, second. Because I saw sleep bust out a dance move, and we saw Runex do the double dab last time. So I'm really looking for something at the end of this game. I'm looking for some type of dance move. Look, as someone who doesn't have this level of flexibility and understanding <laughs> of what people call rhythm, like, I don't know if I'm prepared to see what's going to happen at the end of this match, especially if Runex uh, beats Sleep. You know, Runex, he has the advantage here over Sleep while he is wearing this HyperX headset. You can, of course, see Ooh. giving him the superior advantage in sound acoustics as well as stylish look. Uh, it just comes with the territory. Of course, HyperX new Stinger just launched now. $49.99. Best headset under $50 that you can check out over at HyperX.com. Beautiful. Yeah, almost as beautiful as this Arbiter color that Sleep is locked and loaded into here. Beautiful. No, opposite. Are you feeling this? It's mustard oh. color. Oh my See the yellow? god. How'd you, how'd you bring it back? I'm so mad. Arbiter in the building against this rash. No, you don't get to talk anymore. <laughs> oh, I got locked out. Guest breaking, catch up liking sleep with the big miss. And there's the uh, juggle chance. You know, Runex opted for the rash play now instead of the uh, omen he was going for earlier. I guess he feels this matchup's a bit better that you can run Arbiter over a bit more with rash. It makes sense to me. Oh, trust with a long distance sweep. Couldn't find it. 
Yeah, no whip punish from uh, Sleep. Probably too busy having soggy french fries with ketchup on him. It's going to be the Wrecking Ball over. Oh, I guess another throw. Yeah, that gets rid of the overshield Sleep had. I love the bait oh that God. Runex had just a minute ago by teleporting or uh, using that tongue to go backwards. Oh, had the grenade on, so he didn't challenge. Yeah, great pressure. He's almost dead. Wake up does uh, work for him. He can get the uh, mix up short combo into Vortex. That's the character Arbiter. Oh, the boot. Yeah, but the grenade was there. Oh, you got to shadow boot that. Yeah, and there it is. It would have been chip even if he, uh, you know, blocked it, but he didn't. Mustard enjoying Runex with the lead. <laughs> the run up pressure, and yeah, gets away from the cycle because of the overshield. Nice with the stab. Oh, and a couple of shots for his trouble. Throws out another grade. It's stuck oh, too. He rides the bike. Oh. Did you see this fool <laughs> jump on? He don't care. I got a grenade he just, stuck to me. He no took problem. The handlebars and was like, bruh, <laughs> I'm going. Oh, oh shadow counter attempt. Yeah. That was a good idea. Just slightly missed time. Uh, nowhere to be found. Gets the grenade stuck to him. Oh. Jump out of the command throw and grounded punish, which is the smart thing to do. Very you know, smart. sleep will guess break, and you just saw it there. So if you're Runex, when you got these juggles, keep them long, and you know that he'll lock out and be ready to capitalize. Wow. The instinct throws the grenade. Oh, just wrong. Yeah, he was just wrong breaker. about that. The guess break from sleep. This is the big chance for Runex. Oh, the parry attempt's no good. Goes for the throw. Re Dude, that was genius. That was so genius because you know sleep is like, oh... I got clipped. What am I going to do? Runex was like mustard and then threw this dude. Genius. It was, it was such a scramble situation, yeah. Dude, genius. Oh, starts with the jump back gun. Not really leading to anything as we get the tech throw. Oh, tries to anti air the tongue jump in, but gets locked out instead. And you see, ah, oh, attempted media overhead is no good. But you see the pressure from Runex is super strong so far, and he's extending his combos because he knows Sleep likes to guess. He's like, look, if you're going to guess break, I'll do these extended Ooh, combos. Nice combo off the shots. Ah, uh, jump out. And you see he lets Sleep get hit by the grenade nice. so he can combo. Light boot, light wrecking ball, and the cash out. It's going to put Rash on the other side, but he can uh, jump away. He goes for it. Good blocks from Runex. He's just waiting to see if there's command throw at any point. All right, juggle. That's the grenade on him again. Meaty. Ah, the jump out. But he didn't combo off of it. And you see Sleep, he is getting juggled a second ago. Oh, the anti around him. Dude, what a juggle. Oh, this with the overhead. No combo off of it again, though. Ah, and he gets the lockout. Can kill if he spends the bullets, and he does. Three in a row. That's the round for Sleep. Wrecking ball other side. That move is tough for Arbiter to deal with at a lot of ranges. Overshield popped. Makes him a bit, a little bit more health. He's turning that that uh, meter into health. Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah, gives him that extra bit of health. Also makes him projectile invincible. He walks through them, which means his grenades can't explode on himself. Nice. Oh. Trades and Runex has lost a lot of life. That's gonna be a block. Sleep still has a grenade, so he can reversal. Oh, yeah, and there's shadow. And there's gonna be oh, the juggle drops. I guess from sleep, and he's right. Oh, actually, just gets right back in his face and the front throw to take the first life bar. And yeah, you see Arbiter? It's tough. He's so tall. Yeah, and he has no bullets left either. Ah, good, good point, actually. Arbiter out of bullets. He has the grenades. And sleep. Break. He has instinct now, but gets flipped. He's going to be able to parry and punish. Nice. Ah, gas from Runex is no good. Oh, that was tough, dude. That grenade was going to explode if he jumped anyway. Yeah. Good blocks from Runex, and he gets the throw after. This is the corner positioning he needs. Sleep does spin oh. the grenade, and he punished him. It's one of the nerfs this patch for Arbiter. Punish. Oh, that was, is actually punishable. He just missed it. He's not going to be able to kill because no bullets. But Chip. Chip's an issue. Oh, he got clipped. I'm not sure. I saw the inputs from Runex. Inputting the Shadow Boot. Must have been some ketchup jammed in his stick. He couldn't do it. Oh my. I'm so sick of you. Why did I agree to this? What do you I agree didn't to know it was going to You agree to like ketchup? Yeah, dude. Everybody uh, makes mistakes. Anyway. But yeah, I thought it was definitely very possible for Runex to come back, considering Sleep had no more bullets left. But yeah, uh, super doable. I mean, Sleep had spent them all committing to the jump gun. That's different. This patch, you often have to do that. 
Nice, it's the front throw. Oh, excuse me, it's the back throw. No, so the way that throw works is yeah, so you, you can choose, right? Yeah, 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 you get to decide. Uh, and rare in life do you get choices so easy. <laughs> but throwing your opponent into the corner as Rash is definitely one of them. Command throw, he jumps out, but you see he was still stuck because of grenade. Yes, sir. He did combo off it, but a good light combo breaker from Runix prevents too much damage. Ants here from Sleep is good. He's ready for it. He can get a juggle here, but a break from Runex ready for the heavy. Wake up buttons is good. He saw that there was a whiff, and he took advantage. So, ooh, hits him with the shot air to air. Pops the instant. Another instant, excuse me, the shadow. Oh, the jump, and yeah, that is going to be it. He got locked out. Pretty sure Runex tried to throw tech, and he just got the heavy lockout. It's too bad. Hefty lead for Sleep in this uh, third game. Oh, hits him with the overhead to start it off, too, and the counter breaker. That's going to be good damage. Yeah, this is a great, great game for Sleep. It ends it without the damage ender, though, interestingly enough. Oh, he's tagging him with a grenade at the end. Where are you going? Oh! Overshield. Keep himself safe. That gets drained immediately by Shadow Boot. This is the instinct. This is a good combo. Exchange ender for Runex, who now has corner positioning. Gets right back in there, though, and Runex has a lot of ground to make up. Grenade is on him. You see, that's why he had to abandon the combo early. Yep. Raw boot. Juggle is kept up, and you know, all this is real great for Sleep. Man, and the reset at the end, too. I was going to say, he didn't turn it into much, but that flip out allowed him a pretty strong situation. And Sierra's the zip in, and that'll do it. Supreme victory for another Sleep in the third game. 2-1. As, of course, he's not bogging down his taste buds with nasty mustard. Are you still talking about that? Oh, no. Oh, so you want to pull that on me now, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, dude. okay. All I know is that Sleep is up 2-1 over Runex. Absolutely. Who has opted to go to character select as he has control of that in this game. <laughs> so he chooses. I was like, what? You're thinking, you're thinking to yourself, what game doesn't allow you to do that? There what modern one. fighting game funded by major companies will allow such a travesty to exist? He just locked in TJ Combo, it seems. Oh, Runex, okay. Yeah, Runex on the TJ pick. Yep, so we saw him play Omen earlier when he had to face a Rash. Saw him go to Rash in this matchup, and now we finally get to see some TJ Combo, which, of course, I'm a big fan of. Yeah, TJ is a character, so I'm definitely a fan of the switch from Runex. Obviously, both of these guys, Evo finalists, Sleep the winner, Runex. Fifth? Yeah, fifth up. place. Or fifth place? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, both of them good. We'll see if he can uh, deal with it. I mean, you know, this character makes sense as he has offense and pressure, and if he knocks Arbiter down, it's great for him. We saw TJ combo actually backdash the overhead, but Sleep stayed in there and got the combo anyway. Checked him on the approach. Is there a break from sleep? Nah, and finally, they guess. Instead of reacting to that uh, vortex he saw just a minute ago, there's the break, and now sleep with pressure for himself in the corner. Back throw recap, double grenade, will end the, oh, the explosion? Oh, man. Yeah, that's a grip. There was two combos in there. The second one did 27%. Yeah. Juggle and a break from Runex. Ah, oh, that's gonna be whip punish. No, it actually hit him. Oh, no. And oh he gets no. the jump over locked out. That might be the round. Oh, oh no, he gets chipped. He chipped. No, he can't because parry. Yeah. It's Top. The, oh, he was open right there. He baited the parry, but it's so short recovery. And the raw command throw. Dude, this round. Top oh, 10 dude. saddest deaths in anime. <laughs> <laughs> like, what just happened? Whoa, that was like can't. eight flubberinos. <laughs> All right, well, oh, okay. that'll do it. All right, so we're going <laughs> to... We're going to even it up on the life bars as he gets knocked out by the shot. I'll trust with the power line, but an easy block. Oh, meets him in the middle and gets the combo. And Sleep not opting for damage ender, interestingly enough. Double yeah, that, that, situa that was no win. I mean, you're stuck. Grenade on you. Oh, another one. A command throw, but he's going to get... Ah, I put himself in animation, so grenade wasn't a factor. Short combo from Sleep. He has no resources really to work with. What a throw bait with the bullet on the way back. Oh, so many throws. Oh, that would have been in Ultra. Checks so, the, uh, yeah, go ahead. It's Ultra. Stage Ultra, in fact, but he's coming back. That was a good job by Sleep checking the, the power line punch right there. Oh, punish. Ah, the, oh, he missed the recapture, but the punish. 
That is a heavy break. And the same little combo we went for, sleep with a break on the light. It's a guess, and it's a good one. Raw? Raw command throw, no problem. Doesn't finish the combo. That is the issue with playing a character you're slightly less familiar with. Yes. The draws come great. out. No fancy hand work from sleep. I'm glad as the I'm rhythm not. on my side is lacking. So seeing something like that might provoke me into doing something foolish. <laughs> you know? All right, so sleep's going to contain himself. And of course, Runex not gonna have any dance moves for the loss. Yeah, dude, you can't do it on an L. No, definitely not. So fifth place for Runex, strong showing in this tournament. Looks Once like again, fifth place. Fifth place, yeah, you're right about that. Looks like LCD coming up to the stage. He's gonna be playing up against good old Hollywood Sleep. And this will be loser semis. Winner of this will determine who gets in the losers finals to face the loser of Nikki and Thompson. Thompson, thank you. You said it. Yes, sir. Nikki and Thompson will be coming up most likely. Jago versus Fulgore. Yeah, that's what you would expect. Two of the characters that are strongest in the season. And I think everybody feels pretty hot about. Thanks for tuning in to SCR. Myself and Ringe on commentary, of yes, course. Sir. We heard the cries of the people. Absolutely. Via panicked. Was like, damn. Maybe I should have offered this fool some real money. Should have got some real commentators yeah, on dude. the table. Yeah, dude. He was panicking. He's like, oh, man. Uh, 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 money. And I was like... Fantastic doing business with you, Alex Vi. Instead of offering me chicken scratch, she offered me like a bottle of mustard, and I was like, "Dude, I love mustard." Like, oh, finally, about to hit it. Finally, the also, mustard. Also, can we talk about those red ketchup shoelaces you're rocking right what now, dude? What is your problem? You got issues? I got an issue, dude. Oh my god, I'm so sick of you. I got an issue. This is why we actually don't commentate a lot. We actually play like, all the same games. No, we you're commentate all, all the right, time. Look, don't take this as a condiment, but you're a fantastic commentator. <laughs> wow. We just don't get a chance to commentate <laughs> that much together because this weekend Woo. you're doing what, KOF? I'm doing every other game. Besides. Guilty Gear, <laughs> Marvel. Then, yeah. Uh, Killer Instinct. Killer Friday Instinct. Instinct. Street Fighter on Friday. Street Fighter on I've Friday. I've literally commentated probably five games five before games. the weekend. The only game you haven't done is Mortal Kombat. Yeah. So... Man, if they just throw you on top eight tomorrow, you can just right? complete the trifecta. Hey, I played Mortal Kombat for a little bit. Yeah, you missed that. I remember the Aaron Black. Remember, yeah, I remember dude, the Aaron so Black? you came to my house and played uh, MK like right when the game came out. And that was the first time I've ever heard the phrase router kicker used. Yo. Because you were playing this dude online in MK, right? And like you got Aaron Blacker, like Aaron Black, you hit like forward one three EX grenade. You get to juggle, the game just freezes and then unfreezes. And you say out loud, I've never heard this phrase in my life. Oh, so it's uh, this guy's one of those router kickers, huh? <laughs> and I was like, dude, a router kicker? They I've are. never heard that in my life. They're out there. It was the funniest thing I've ever heard. Thank God Killer Instinct has great online, you yeah. know what I mean? Not too many router kickers out there. People have some respect. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Like, that phrase to me was so new, but as soon as you said it, I, it immediately, immediately was knew, added right? to my arsenal. Like, and you I, immediately knew what it meant. Like, router kicker? <laughs> That's the best, dude. Legendary phrase. Like, as soon as I heard it, it was instantly added to the database. I was <laughs> like, I now have a new phrase for people online who are router kickers. I didn't know what to call them before. <laughs> now the nomenclature is established in my, uh, you know. That was a beautiful vocabulary word right Dictionary, there. yeah. Thank you. As we got, this is, like we said before, loser semis. Winner of this will get into loser's finals and guarantee a position in top three. Try to get that gold, yellow, mustard color. First place prize. <laughs> F3 Hollywood Sleep. <laughs> now you What? Nothing. Okay. Hollywood Sleep versus LCD. LCD whispers some sweet nothings to the cameraman. Yeah, dude. I don't know what kind of relationship they have there. You can get that on NBC's Date Night or whatever it is. Or what's it called? The one where they get people? What? I don't know, dude. What whatever. are you talking about? Somebody will tweet it and know what I'm talking about. I didn't even catch the first part. Top anyway. four of SCR here. Hollywood Sleep, first place at EVO, LCD, Orchid player, and a strong one at that. What? Kim Woo? All right, dude. I don't All like right. him anymore. All right. So this is his secret strategy. He begged for Kim Woo buffs, dropped Kim Woo, went back to Kim Woo in his time of need. To get into top three? Dude, the only thing uglier to me than a bottle of ketchup is Kim Woo's face. And she's got the ketchup colors on too right yeah, now. Yeah, so dude. Doubly, doubly she's mad. got that butter face. She's got that MySpace angle in her Tinder what profile. And then uh, you dude, click that's on just it. Her face though. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you click on it and you're like, bro, this is not what I got myself into. I wasn't looking dude, for this. I did not swipe for this. <laughs> oh, Arbiter is not trying to swipe at all either. I'm trying to send her back in. Oh, combo breaker. Oh, tried to parry, but in fact, 
was a command throw, not parryable back throw. Gets the recap, jump in. Oh, good lord. Double recap. Keeps it up, and that's a coast-to-coast, -coast, corner to corner combo. Get damage, tick throw. If this keeps going like this, I'm not sure we're gonna see much of Kim Wu. Okay, all right. Dude, yeah, the, it looks like her face might be taking a quick dive for maybe some Orchid. Whip punish from LCD. Meaty. And he wasn't ready for it. This is lockout and damage. Damage Ender, and you can see that's the kind of swing that this character can have. A 57% combo. Absolutely. Oh, parry. Oh, the guess was not there for LCD. It was a good thought. Usually when, uh, when characters are going to lose their life on that health bar, they'll do the guess break on the lights, but it yeah. wasn't anywhere to be found. No parry attempts from LCD on those. Get stuffed out of the Dragon Kick. Low priority on that. Got him. And the recap on the grenade, maybe? No. If he'd done another Dragon Kick, probably. Trade you to switch sides. Gets the Dragon Ender. And Sleep blows that up. Yeah, it's not real. Uh, if you do that Dragon Cancel, you could totally get interrupted. LCD with a pretty fancy combo. It's been a lot of resources, but not a lot of damage. Oh, it was a Dude, he just waked up and pulled it out of the pocket. <laughs> said, yo, I'm riding hot. Oh, what a parry. So I can see the game plan from LCD, which I'll, I'll touch on in a second. Okay. Uh, but, you know, so far, Sleep is not out of this. He had a great start to this match. Just hasn't been able to turn it into much. Yep. Oh, actually gets to open him up with the overhead. Locked him out as well. It's going to be good damage. Not a damage ender from him. So could have been maybe more. Maybe, yes. He has perfect timing on that. Oh, the shots. Ooh, Puts her in danger, out. but since it's a short combo, it's not enough. Chip. Baited. Oh, oh, LCD with the chance. This is the the guess. Oh, but what, what a drop, drop from the LCD. The parry. Oh, what a parry. One more. Meaty. The grenade will do it. And look, I can see what LCD's thought process is on the Kim Wu pick. Uh, here's what he's thinking. In this patch, you can parry and dragon cancel the parry into a combo with Kim Wu. So what this dude LCD is thinking is, this dude is going to do the overhead slice of Reno, yes. carry it, dash, combo. Oh, okay. Thought process in LCD's noggin. And he was very close to winning that first game, so. Yeah. I'm sure he's not going to get away from that strategy. Yes, yeah, very nice command throw as soon as he landed. Yeah, and the recap gets the big jump in. LCD guessed. And what's wrong, Perry? Low forward again with the overhead. Nice block this time by LCD. Still locked down in that corner of those big sword normals. Not letting him do anything. That's where the parry's got to come out. And that's... Oh, wake up, sweep. All right, dude. How are you feel? Oh, Doug O for LCD. Gets the knockdown. Other side. Arbiter's a big boy, so easy for that tall hitbox to get confused. Bar for LCD to cash out. Oh, no. Extension a bit too long. Both players now. Killing out, but the long distance over here once again. Recapture with a grenade, but he was a little far away. Yeah, and I think he buffered the input. It just didn't come out. Okay. Auto double is going to get broken. LCD with just a pixel. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. You want a dragon kick at me? I mean, hold this lunge. The plasma sword. <laughs> Reversal, but Grenade is still there, which forces LCD to drop early. Nice and the guess. Break. Yeah, Sleep is good about those guest breaks. Ooh. What a dash in. The, the jam. Yeah. Oh my god. Long distance overhead, gotta be very wary. Oh, Jump out, throw. but the Grenade is still there. You can see, forced LCD to go for a throw. Yeah, exactly. LCD was looking for the to avoid it with the animation. This is going to be combo on a break. Pressure is good for LCD, and he won't take the round because overshield life. Wake up standing light kick in an overhead from sleep because LCD, of course, was expecting instinct. So he was able to take the first life bar, but he's still in danger with a full health arbiter. Of course, he will have access to the shield very shortly as well. It's an unlikely comeback for LCD if he's going to get it. And yeah, he still has bullets remaining. Oh, oh, I'm surprised I didn't catch him. That was yeah. Shadow Commander. Oh, some shots in the face. I'm trying to fix it. it. I mean, that might actually fix it, dude. I'm not sure. Nice Shadow Counter to seal the second game, man. 
Though that first game was very close, second game not so much. Yeah, and LCD's really got to be thinking if this Kim Wu uh, pick might come back to bite him in the ugly face, because really it's it's not looked good so far. The game plan is sound, but not being effectively uh, you know done, and that's yeah. where the struggle will come in. And that's one of those things, man. We talked about before. You know, when you play a a plethora of character, a mo a characters, a multitude of characters. You know, it's an advantage because you have different options for different matchups. But then at the same time, you're not going to be so precise when you play those characters. Right. And you know how to think. He, he was so good with Kim for a while. Dropped her for like a month. And has been playing nothing but Orchid. But so. that month matters. You yeah, know? Exactly. Even though it might sound like a short time in this game's three-year lifespan, yeah. it still matters. Especially 100%. when you're at top eight, top level competition. You know, it's almost like you know about the video games. I'm Thank impressed. You. Thank you, Sam. You're good at this. I appreciate it. As we are going into a 2-0 Hollywood Sleep loser semifinals, we are seeing an LCD switch back to Orchid. Yep. And now I can look in the right portion of the screen near the character's face <laughs> and not feel disgusted. And here it is. Orchid pick for LCD. We'll see. I mean, game plan. It's going to be tough in the neutral, but uh, knockdown pressure is going to be key. Oh, Man, I'm surprised he just got hit. Off. Yeah, I did get the comp off. I wonder if LCD maybe should have tried uppercut. Could be. Oh, I'm trying for a jump in right there, but yeah, Sleep was just chilling. Easy anti here. Locked out. Ooh. Nice with a neck crack. Ah, and there's the shadow reversal. Good stuff. Wow, just beat it. Surprised yeah. that that uh, slide didn't at least catch. Oh, interesting. You know, I think it was the grenade that kind of dissuaded him. Yeah, for sure. Same scenario we've seen a few times from LCD. Ah, oh, shadow counter is good. He needs maybe one chance ender. Ah, uh, I think that was manual attempt that got auto double. Okay. Oh, that's good block. Time. Yeah, good block. What a break. He just guessed it was medium and he was right. Now, this is real big for sleep. Not only does he uh, get the first life mark down, but he did it off a cross and jump in zone. Has all the screen real estate to work with, as you can see now. Yeah, lots of bullets. He just walked up. She gets hit, though, so LCD spent the meter for a little bit of damage, but not too, not too uh, meaningful. Shadow, good blocks. And the grenade clip is not enough to get the uh, job done. This should be the round for LCD. Heavy auto doubles in there. Good stuff from LCD. Definitely closing the gap significantly. Ah, oh, shadow counter again. He's ready for that buffer. Yeah, he is. There's the manual he wanted last time. Still, good combo breaker from LCD. Preventing the life lead from being too much. That target combo from Arbiter. Great for spacing that he's huge range. LCD with the guess that gets rid of the grenade. He's out of the corner, but clipped. Big fears from LCD. Instinct popped. Oh, that's really the instant track for the mix up. We haven't, pressure. Seen, we haven't seen LCD. He just kicked though. her in the mouth. I don't think he wanted it, but it worked. And now, scary spot to be. He's going to take a grip. He's going to be in danger. Yeah. And we haven't seen LCD go to the overhead yet this set. Oh, what a break. It was a good guess. He did the same thing. No, he broke. One. She's going to be able to block. What is the mix-up afterwards? Just oh, explodes. And LCD with a lot of two moves. Two bullets. He's, two bullets. And he there they go. Him. Grenade is up for sleep. The boot. Blocked with the boot to follow up. No, the slide. It hit. Oh, my. You know, LCD is nodding to himself like he's mad nice. That was terrifying. <laughs> Dude, I thought he was done, though. The slide hits on like the very last frame. Oh my god. He said something out loud and I heard the word easy. I'm worried. Me too. That's a. Well, I don't know what you're saying to me. I can't even hear you. He said, yeah. I mean, yeah. If you, if you, All right, yeah, good try. He get he, the, the yeah and the nod. Dude, he's trying to speak to me. He's wearing headphones. I'm wearing headphones. <laughs> We're like 30 feet apart. It's not happening, dude. Uppercut is good. And the grenade oh, actually hit. Got a little bit Sleep. too close. Walked into his own fire. Oh, full charge on that. Challenge after the flick back, man. LCD's playing confident now. Maybe that's what he needed. Gets away from the grenade. Both of these characters have the grenade options, obviously, a bit different. 
recap. What a manual from Sleep. It was the roundhouse and the jab after. Damage ender, including the grenade. Shadow counter, no go, since there was command throw. It's not a strike. Oh, another shadow counter uh, attempt. He's just guessing. He's, he's hoping that it'll come oh, out. Oh, he tried for the back dash? Yeah, LCD got hit doing flick flag. Grenade is there. Yep. See, that is the problem with shadow countering against Orchid. The grenade is out can be a big party crasher. Oh! Okay, well, sometimes it's best. That was pretty sick. Air throw at the beginning of the round, and LCD is definitely trying to find his groove, but just as I say that, the groove is stopped. Yeah, big, big, big jump in from Sleep. That was unanswered. here. LCD tried, but wasn't oh, ready. Overhead point blank. Yeah, you know, an Orchid likes to do a lot of low pokes, so overhead up close is going to catch her trying to hit that low medium punch and other buttons. Yeah, of course, as the Arbiter's overhead does make him airborne for a bit. Oh, actually, I hit by that grenade. Sleep was definitely not expecting it, though. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't ready. It happens. Oh, you see the, the, the preemptive button from Sleep? He's totally ready. Dash is a combo. One chance into knockdown, into setup. Ooh. Grenade is out, which Sleep, you know, is super happy to abuse. Oh, comboed into the cat. This is big. Can Linker and Ender, it's not a... Oh, it is enough, and that is 2-2. Two, two. Sleep and LCD are all tied up, and we're going to Game 5 in this loser semi to determine who gets a guaranteed top three spot. You know what LCD said to me? Dude, I'm about to body him, dude. It's about to be 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> I guess that's what he said, because now it is two apiece. LCD tying things up with his Orchid pick. Imagine if he had gone Orchid from the start. That's actually what I wanted to bring up. The, the, the Kim Wu switch pretty much gave Sleep these two games. He's uh, he's uh, looking uh, much more... Uh, he's just looking like he's having a much more difficult time dealing with the Orchid than the Kim Wu. And I, I don't even think it's because of, like, he knows the Kim Wu matchup super well. I think it was because of the rust from LCD. Yeah, he's probably. He's just clearly super on point with Orchid. This is his character right now. Evo Champion Sleep, thinking about the characters. He has a Khan Ra, he has a Glacius, he has an Arya. He's thinking about Con Raw. This is a matchup I know LCD does not love, but he's going back to the Arbiter. Sticking with his guns, literally. Yeah. Dude, he had a couple of times this set where he literally just woke up gun in LCD's face. <laughs> and I'm like, boy, you're just going to hit him with that? You got the, the grapefruits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's for sure. Let's take the grapefruits. Grapefruit colored uh, Arbiter, too. He's got the, <laughs> yeah. the grape, grape drank Arbiter. That's the Purple City Bird Gang Arbiter right there. That's what I miss most about soda, dude. Grape soda. Oh, my God. It's so Another good. difference of opinion, but we'll save that for another time. Ooh. I mean, orange soda is better. Okay, all right. We're good. We're good. But it's pretty good. Yeah. Jump back. Oh, he tried the gun and to get in there, but the gun didn't hit. LCD with knockdown. Pushes him out of the grenade with the Rekka. Yep, and he keeps on the pressure. Jump over medium kick, and not much Arbiter can do about that. Yeah. One, uh, four, five breaker. It's the first, fourth, and fifth hits of that shadow. Uppercut is uh, good, and oh, he, he risked it again. Oh, the buffer. He was waiting for that Rekka, and LCD has made the adjustment. Another breaker nice. in the same scenario from Sleep. Another grenade. Goes for the long distance overhead. He is blocked this time by LCD. He can oh, punish. Yeah, instinct. Man, you see Sleep gets the lockouts, but he keeps his combo so short yeah, that there's never, never a chance to extend exactly. and make meaningful damage. Now he gets it because there was an early lockout. Yeah. Not enough. Uppercut. Not enough. He needs chip. Doesn't quite get it. Cat. The cat from downtown will do it. Arbiter losing there. We'll see if he can maybe get this chip. Sleep just needs a bit of chip. There it is. Spends three bolts to do so. Most still of the clips still left. remaining. Yeah, I still got plenty left in the clip. Very combo to start this uh, life bar for LCD. Saw the grenade as well. Oh, poking him out. Oh, it's yeah, up the low. low. Locked out, and LCD can spend another shadow. Cash it out. Huge damage. Puts him in danger. Evo champion on a scary position. Grenade's Back gonna against explode. the wall for sure. Yeah, he's got to make a big comeback. This whole series has got to go sleep's way. Has it? A, oh. Big jump. That could have been ultra. LCD didn't believe, and that is that LCD over sleep. Evo champion knocked out of SCR in fourth place.
tried that Kim Wu at the beginning definitely did not work out and goes back to the character he's been focusing on and look what happened three straight for LCD and he guarantees his top three spot here at SCR 2016. Yeah, he sure does. What a match that was from LCD. A 3-0 comeback with Orchid. Super sick play. Impressive stuff from LCD. There is the bracket if you want to take a peek. He will be playing the loser of Nikki and Thompson, which is coming up. Oh, yeah, they're going to make their way to the stage very momentarily. Yeah, you can see a Circa Nikki as well as Blue Hurricanes Thompson. They're going to be playing in winner's finals. Blue Hurricane. This is a sponsor I'm unfamiliar with. Cool name, big, though. The big BH. Yeah, cool name. Legends. So that's our winner's finals. Yeah, All we have gore. left in the bracket is top three. Full Gore versus Jago, like we talked about before. Characters with fireballs, DPs, definitely just a lot of tools, very solid all around. Yeah, and Jago, pretty similar story, really well run a character. Can I just say I'm super jealous you guys get to commentate on these couches all weekend? Yeah, they're pretty comfortable. That's so nice. I can't lie. I definitely, when uh, on Friday, before any of the tournament started, I had the first shift, so I definitely got my Okamoto kitchen. Came over here to the couch, had the desk right there. Oh, it was a, it was a primo time. You know, all I've eaten today is that the rice and chicken that I had. Oh, the little, yeah. The little tray like that, that yay big. <laughs> yay big. It's going to be a problem after this. For sure. The life of the commentators, man. We don't get to eat much, honestly. But you know what we do get to eat? Some nothing, not nothing, I don't know. ArcadeShock.com. <laughs> Check them out. 20%. 15%. Coupon code SCR 2016. Arcade shop, they have stuff. Including Guilty Gear Buttons, San Wadenshi, Hori, HRF5. Yeah. Check out Arcade Shock. Button checks look good. It looks like we're going to get in the match. It's going to be, of course, Circa Nikki on the left side of your screen there. Blue Hurricane Thompson on the right. Yeah, I was going to try some segue by eating buttons and stuff, but I thought you were going to hit it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to finish it off. Dude, and then I was like, at that point, I was already, I gave up. I was letting you yeah, hit it, and uh, then at that point, I was like, dude, sorry. took a big, uh, I was like, I was probably going to mix it in there with, like, buns are only good with, like, ketchup and not mustard or something, but I didn't want to bring that up again, even though I just did. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's a clearly superior solution. <laughs> I'm gonna go, dude. After this, we're gonna head down to Worst House. I'm so down. Eat some food, and I'm gonna. There's like seven kinds of mustard there. Oh my god. And it's about to be sick. Never mind, I'm not going. They have ketchup too. No, it's all right. You killed my mood. It's all right. Four mustard for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're set up and ready to go. Red versus blue. It's pretty easy to uh, call the action. <clears throat> kind of bummed out, dude. I left my cough drops on the other commentator's desk. Ooh, I left my towel, my sweat towel. I don't know where it's at. Somebody dude, commentary it. sweat towel is a genius idea because these lights make you real shiny. Yeah, it really, yeah, it's very true. Like, the lights over here are pretty far away, so they're not too hot or anything like that. But, like, up there and over there, the lights are in your face. Yeah, it's brutal. As here we go, this is going to be winner's final. Circa Nikki versus Blue Hurricane Thompson. Full Gore versus Jago. Very, very solid characters on both sides. Tremendous amount of tools. And we're going to see how the players put them to use. Yeah, dude, super similar tool sets. Both uh, fundamental, solid characters. Counter hit confirm early from Thompson. And this wall splat game is where Thompson excels. Uh, it's really his strength. As a Jago player in general, he has great positioning. He also has sick hit confirms off that back pierce. It has deceptively long range. Special cancelable yes. overhead. I love me some full door also. My oh boy. Oh, nice laser. Actually tried for the, the teleport right after. That was got a hit crazy by a reaction from Thompson to shadow through. When you see that wall splat game again from Thompson, it's going to be important for Nikki to shut that stuff down. Yeah, instant cancel the overcut right there. Interesting little whiff. There's no anti airs from Nikki. He just wasn't prepared. What a crazy whiff punish chance from Thompson. But yeah. Fulgor, the bot who does it all. Absolutely. Easily canceled into the uppercut. Knew that wind punish was coming. Uppercut of his own from Jago. Caught him and chase down. This is going to be life as well as advantage in terms of meter for Thompson. He's going to spend them both. And look at that nice. swing in life. I just noticed the score is 15 15, by the way. Oh, yeah. All very, right. very even top eight. Medium kick doubles get broken. You know, this fireball game is okay to play against Jago when he doesn't have meter to shadow through, but he yeah. kills it pretty quick. 
Oh, nice dash up after the jump in right into throw range and gets the fireball. And that is the that's the standard full board stuff, right? Yeah, fireball, good, good, good. teleport to one of the sides, get an overhead, get a low. Dude, he teleports and it's a left right, and then you have to guess overhead low. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And even if you guess right, he still uh, is pressuring. That's the video game, man. Ooh, hits him low that time. Tries with the counter breaker, but nowhere to be found. Counter breaker oh, attempt too. Oh. They're both a little early, or a little late on, excuse me. The breakers were earlier than they expected. There's the lockout. Nice, yeah, he's gonna get the shadow. A wall splat into the throw. Just gets his space back, goes back to the, the projectile game. He is being careful with the space, though, as Jago has two meters on deck. Oh, the heavy laser cancel. Oh. Dude, Nikki is actually a genius. Yeah. Like, he saw the laser whip. He's he so cancels. fast. Dude, his, the, the speed at which he plays is so incredible, and that's what you have to do with full gore in this match, like, or in general, right? Like, yeah. you have to be... But I really do speed. think that's why his full gore is so much, so much more successful than everybody else. I totally agree. Like his decision making is so fast. He's Instant. so confident in them. And so that's how you have to play. Yeah, it's absurd how quickly his mind makes up what he plans to do in every match. And he absolutely commits to it. There's no hesitation. Yeah. Very committal style for sure. The reset from Thompson. Looks for that forward roundhouse. And there's no meter from Nikki to uh, Shadow Counter. No break either. And the wall splat will do it. Amazing first round from Thompson. A great answer to what just happened. We'll see if he can keep it up. The juggle, and he chooses to just build a meter instead with the pip cancel. Wall splat is where he's so dangerous. Oh, wow. Trying to the forward uh, Pierce to get out of the corner. Teleport away, even. And the challenge with uppercut after. That's what you got to expect in those negative frames from Nikki. The teleport mix up, it's just the overhead and the counter breaker is no good again. Combo breaker from Nikki though, preventing any too much damage. He did quite a, uh, quite the deficit. Oh, he the beam. the full meter for the beam. Scary. He still, he couldn't cash it out or anything. Not sure if that, oh, this is a big punish. Huge punish from Thompson. That down pierce was a real optimal way to start that. For building life. If he doesn't break, it could be ultra. No, oh, if he ended that, it was death anyway. Yeah. Chase down, yeah. Activates his own instinct, teleports back. New Thompson will try to jump out of the corner, so he wants to keep that space cut off. Yeah, right now, the, the life that Nikki has is just really not enough. That was a great reaction, but still, yeah, Shadow Teleport does not track super well and also has a ton of recovery. I'm afraid Shadow Teleport is great for when your opponent doesn't move from full screen that, like, they're stuck doing. So since nikki has been on this tear, running rough shot all over the KI scene, has he actually faced Thompson in the Grand Finals? I think it's been a while since these two played a uh, super long set that I can recall in tournament. Oh, man. I mean, you know, even so, I think nikki has been dunking everybody, so... Yeah, absolutely. That's, there's no question about that. I was just wondering. Jump over from Thompson. Oh, it just wrists it all in the uppercut. And there's a great block on the reset that Nikki went for. Ooh. Nice. Does get the good. counter breaker this time. No meter available. He goes for the knockdown ender instead. Interesting. Yeah, he baits the uh, pop for an oh. instinct. Oh, he had the right idea, but no. And there's a break. Thompson only gets a small amount of life left. Or life back. Oh, wow. Very fast fireball. Got him. That's what that shadow teleport is for. And he went for the reset, Thompson was ready, but gets flipped by the blade dash. And this is meter and also round for Nikki as well as a huge lead. Double fireball, so he's spinning a bit of pips. Long range downtown wind kick from Thompson. Oh wow, he's right to an uppercut, uppercut of his own, but it's whipped. Nikki picked up the combo with a combo breaker, he's still stuck in the corner. Teleports back into the corner as Thompson was ready to punish if he can teleport near. Turn that up! Oh, with the uppercut! Quick combo breaker though, prevents much damage. There it is, caught him with it. It is a hard knockdown, so, uh, you know, safer than it used to be. What a read from Thompson on the jump away. Ah, and that will be the round. Even if he does the ender here, he gets Shadow Fireball, he can still cash out. Oh my god, he didn't go for cash out at all. Oh, because, like, and he gets the instinct into the uppercut. 
Uh, this this is gonna be Shadow Laser, Wind Kick Punish. Okay. Instinct's still going for Full Gore though, so he's building that reactor. Thompson did a good job recovering despite that little drop that went down. Oh, right into the Shadow Laser again as yeah, he's got some pips to burn because of the instinct. Oh, the oh, throw bait. That's oh, throw. that was so good. And Nikki's gonna give us an ultra combo. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I think Nikki looks like 15 times smarter with glasses on. <laughs> he actually looks like a genius. He's like, man, I built this robot with my bare hands. The circuitry is all Nikki Incorporated. Awesome victory! And, uh, Two one. Yeah. Good stuff from Nikki. One up two one hits the rematch button. Tops is taking a little bit of time to think about it. As of course this is winners finals for KI top three. Nikki with the one more victory. Uh, yeah, Nikki with one more victory will guarantee himself top two and yet another grand final spot on his tear over the season of KI. Big damage. Nice little lockout and confirm from Thompson, but a challenge, Nikki. 11% uppercut, and this punish is a big, big way to answer back from eating a 50% combo. Oh, missed time. Can you try to manually time teleports out of there? And oh. Yeah, Nikki woke up with a low forward, though. Checked him. He tried for the big overhead, I believe. He's all out of life for Thompson to get back. He doesn't spend both bars. Pivot to the uppercut. A staple of full court. Thompson does go with the uppercut to sh uh, Shadow Fireball to keep himself safe after. But it hit anyway, so he'll, he'll be alright. Oh, fakes it. Oh this time God. does go in. That he can close is, it out. I swear, man. Laser followed up by the dash has such a high success rate, it's crazy. It's an infinite. Confirmed infinite. Kids will patch it next patch. <laughs> Everybody's fine. Uh, I think it's because last time he faked the teleport, that time he did blade dash. Yeah, so Thompson right. was committed to that, that bad boy, the wind kick. Breaker. Uh, Nikki probably looking for throw tech. It was light breaker anyway. No! Okay, oh, well, no, pip cancel yeah. save. Dude, just full gore things when you throw a fireball instead of uppercut and then can still cancel. Yeah, just full gore things and Nikki things, man. The decision making, the recognition is so fast. Wall splat now for Nikki. Reset. Medium kick doubles are broken. He has full bar. If, if Thompson jumps again, it's going to be B Marino. <laughs> so, got to be careful if you're Thompson. Oh, he spent the pip. All right, okay, yeah, right. jump was safe oh, because of that. No. Double bar. You can spend them both and get about 80% health, maybe. Oh, dude, the back the dash. The back dash at full bar is so sick. He baited the throw. He still has this full uh, beam available. Oh, my. I thought he teleported behind. I was Me like, too. dude, you're about to get lit up. Chip. Ah, oh, there it is. Long distance, and Thompson ties it up 2-2 in this winner's final set. I'm afraid your path ends here. Nikki with uh, multiple nods of approval. Multiple nods, a couple of smiles. You know, put some money in the tip jar. Was feeling it. It's going to be the last game here. Winner's finals of Killer Instinct. And we're right into it. Nikki not taking any time. Nice. Catches the jump and the counter breaker. Let's go. Really, really strong way to start this match. Absolutely. Does go for the knockdown ender for positioning, and there's the challenge for Thompson. Uppercut, yeah. If you're going to sacrifice damage, you really have to make that that potential uh, in that setup shine. Because I think he's going to take that space back, yeah. Dude, he oh. interrupted the beam, gets in there, flip out, overhead is uppercut. Now Nikki, oh, overhead is overhead. Oh, he tries for another counter breaker. And the jab is broken. Thompson got medium a few times there. Nikki just blocks. So Patience. much meter on the side of Nikki. Yeah, you knew that shadow laser was coming. He has so much meter. Pick up the combo? Yes. No. Oh, does it? <laughs> Maybe? Probably not. <laughs> Nikki's still with instinct available. And then, yeah, that, oh. that setup is not going to be uppercut. Yeah. Overhead and reset. Overhead. Can cash out and take the round? Doesn't yeah, even have to. turn around from Thompson in that round. Very impressive. Chip. Yeah, and that was uh, a good way for Nikki to spend some bar. He's still got the reactor spinning. Oh, punish. Overhead reset attempted. Trade, uh, you know, Nikki. Probably not going to want to eat too many of those. 
challenge again. Punish on the withdraw whip. Nikki's got the lockout, can spend Shadow Dash. Likely wall splat ender. Overhead, he was looking reset. Shadow? No, raw wing kick. Wall splat again. Oh, he oh, baited he it. The counter breaker. He really was overzealous, and Thompson took the lead because of it. Nikki oh, with the lock. Oh, he's locked out. Not enough. Oh Nikki my god, still. just live on a pixel, activates the instinct. He's gotta watch out for wind kick into chip. Oh yes, he god. went in too hard off of that. Nikki, he committed. Here. He went all in on it. I think he just didn't expect Thompson to be ready for it. Now Nikki's gonna drop into Losers Finals where he's gonna be playing LCD, who's been waiting. Nikki, who, I mean, is this like one of his first trips to a Losers Bracket in quite some time? He's had what? Losers Bracket runs. Okay, uh, he's had some Losers Bracket runs? Okay. But uh, it's going to be tough to beat LCD and then beat Thompson in two sets of three out of five. That's for sure. It's a lot. So it's going to be Nikki now versus LCD. We'll see who LCD plays. Both of his characters don't really have the, the most fun time. <laughs> uh, shout out to Keats. You know, he moved to Florida. What? the weekend that the hurricane was happening wow yeah dude that is some special luck for you Keats. I'm i know sorry i don't even know what to tell you about that he got hit by the conroe whirl <laughs> and like <laughs> right when he got there that's tough times shout out to Keats, of course watching i'm sure he's in the chat absolutely all the moronic things you're saying about the game he can see it yep you think so okay. hk smash offering to throw around his esports dollary dues <laughs> I see where you're at. If Crazy LCD can take the tournament, let's see. I'm not sure. Gonna have to go through Nikki and a winner's finals side Thompson. Yeah, that's a long winner's road. Winner's side Thompson. That's too. like, you gotta win three, three out of fives in a row. Yeah. That's a lot of video game to oh, win. Yeah. Back to back to back to back to back. And Thompson's like always played Jago, right? Yeah. Or no? Jago, yeah. With Jago forever. Yeah. <clears throat> so Since the dawn of time. Yeah. That man knows his character, knows how his character fights other characters. It's gonna be a tough one. But yeah, big shout out to Keats. He really is always watching, guys. He is plugged into the game pretty much more than any other fighting game. Just crazy because everybody's such a jerk to him all the time. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, whatever, dude. It's the video game. I like it. Yep. Takes it on the chin. Improves the game how he feels how he feels it should be improved. And explains why he does the things he does, which is great. You know, when you get the patch notes, the Killer Instinct patch notes come with the reasons for the changes. You know, it's genius. It it's is. It's absolutely genius. I want a patch note reasoning on why. Some players have to throw the other player's thumbs up in the other video game, you know? Yeah. If only. Circa Nikki. Smash Army LCD. Sponsored by Mr. HK Smash for this event. Throw early. And this is a matchup that can turn ugly real quick if you are Orchid. It's so easy for Full Boy to get the lead and turn it into a nightmare for this character. Yeah, See, the guess is not going so right. LCD wanted to wake up uppercut. Uh, he didn't know what side Nikki was on, so he guessed wrong. And okay. because of that, got the wake up flick flag. Let's get the instant cancel now, but an immediate combo breaker from Nikki gonna prevent much damage. Yeah, Nikki's seen LCD do that setup before. He was totally ready for it. Oh, gets hit with the charge. Another combo breaker, though. Dash up throw, and that, that's gonna be effective against LCD. He has trouble dealing with that. <laughs> three or four teleports in a row, probably three. Chip. Chip will do it. Oh, I'm surprised that down Fierce is likely an uppercut. Oh man, a couple of drops from LCD have hit Nikki. Uppercut. Yeah. Yeah, and that'll do it. Slight punch uppercut from Nikki is smart. That's the one with the most vertical range. And of course, Fulgor. Oh, the shadow counter. I was gonna say Fulgor, one of those characters that doesn't mind when the instinct, when his instinct's going during the round transitions. Oh yeah, 100%. That's totally great for Fulgor. Yeah. Oh, look for the shadow counter. You saw LCD with the. Uh, he just did the down strong and didn't buffer, just in case there was Shadow Counter. Anti air gets to juggle. Nikki challenges. And you see that shadow, that was to get away from the grenade. It's projectile invincible. Yes. Oh, and now LCD has instinct. Let's see if he made the comeback, it's gonna start. No break for Mickey either. And the throw, that'll be the game. Uppercut, and as soon as he gets the uppercut over, it's right to a throw, a little might be a little bit of teabag action. You know, maybe? a couple of down up. The circuitry could be uh, def uh, Defect. defective here. Maybe a faulty wiring. But I like to believe that that was all intentional. Absolutely. Good old-fashioned American douchebaggery. <laughs> oh, uppercut checks the pressure. 
Not going to be able to do that for free. Oh, with the dash in. Great Buster. That's one of the things that Orkin can do now in Season 3 is uh, Buster Cancel out of the slide. And you know that Shadow Cat will lock a lot of people out. It has different breaker timing than the normal Shadow Cat. Overhead is good. That little barge overhead goes directly into the instinct. Man, LCD got opened up with that low laser a few times. Oh, what a whiff. Went all in on the uppercut. Oh, the, the uh, manual is no, uh, no break arena. And that'll do it. Can chip out. Oh, oh wow, he missed time. Dang, that was guaranteed chip that he could have got. You just like let her block that, and then you just cyber dash, and then you uh, shadow, and then that's guaranteed. But Nikki missed it. It actually worked out better this way because he got to build pip speed, reactor speed, and now has full meter. Yes, sir. So he's got that beam. Yeah, of course, Nikki, a very smart full goal player, using oh, the. Oh, the tie combo! <laughs> All right, that was hot. That was hot. Nikki actually reeled back in his chair and laughed. That was sick. Good stuff from LCD. That's the kind of tech you got to practice. That's the important stuff. Yeah. That evil finalist know how to do a tournament. Nice text with the low forward. Grabs for the overhead reset by LCD blocked, but he couldn't block the rest. Yeah, if you get hit by blocking a full goal overhead, you just block low. There's nothing else he could do. Yeah. Not sure what LCD was looking for. Dash Ooh. forward on wake up. Likely an accident from Nikki. Out, gets the DP all at the Shadow, forward. yes. He gets away from the grenade. That is ultra. And that is 2-0, Nikki. We'll see if there's a little uh, down up, down up. No, it's just a couple of dashes. Yeah, he's got the full the full meter dash. He wants to kill it, you know? And Nikki is cruising his way back into grand finals, it seems. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, as usual, Nikki's the best full guard player. You always see him when uh, he finishes off a combo for a round. Always uses the moves that increase the meter of the reactor speed. 100%. So he has a pretty much full meter for the next round, usually. Yeah, he's actually a genius. Super, super smart player. Medium Linker blows out the combo. You saw that little up and down action that Nikki was doing? That was uppercut. But he was stuck in a true block string, so his character does a funky little dance. Oh, okay. Combo from LCD is good. That's a counter hit only combo off the Rekka. Ah, okay. They cancel on the fireball from Nikki. Oh, too late! Too late, too late, too late, and it's gonna lose the life bar because of it. Gotta counter break early. If you're late, it doesn't work. Yep. Dashing right to his face and then instinct to start the round. Medium linker and medium double. He has some meter to spend. Knockdown ender, we've seen this from Nikki a few times. He baits the instinct by teleporting in place. Got to expect slide from LCD soon. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, show an uppercut. Wow, he's hit by the cat. Can't combo off of it. Good block. He doesn't bite. He gets punished with the shadow. And Nikki with a break. It was medium linker, so it had to be either medium or light manual after. Another guess. No, the pip cancel that saved himself. Man, the commentator's worst, night worst nightmare is Nikki's reactions. <laughs> the, the speed at which he executes that is so good. Medium linker, and that is reactable and broken by Nikki. Ooh, charges up the dash. Open up low again. LCD trying to walk backwards and abuse that orchid walk speed. Yeah, but that laser goes very far. Manual from Nikki gets to keep up the combo, but instead want to reset. LCD tried to bait the uh, uppercut. He didn't buy it. And that is a huge 60% corner series from Nikki. Dab will get uppercut. Oh, it was really, really expecting Nikki to bite, and that should be ultra. It is thought that Nikki would try to break after the shadow air. Uh, it's a big all in from LCD, doesn't work, and capitalization from Nikki. Absolutely. Who is now in the grand finals of SCR here, gonna play another set against Thompson, who is patiently waiting on stage to play the winner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thompson was just sitting next to our lovely cameraman. You get to watch the whole thing. Yep, just sat there. Didn't move very far. Knew he was going to be up regardless of who won. Dude, who's this photographer? He looks like a professional. I don't know. He's got the, like, what was that? Is that that sponsor? The Whatever the jersey is over yeah, there? Yeah, I forgot what it was called. Taking pictures of our lovely Killer Instinct competitors. Looks like a professionaler indeed. Professionaler. Third place finish for LCD. Good work to him. Pretty strong showing. Looks like uh, he killed the dream for HK Smash to sponsor a new <laughs> player. But yeah. a good showing for himself indeed. Third place. And man, he just got to be super thankful that like the Kim Woo pick 
didn't come back to bite him, you know? Dude, I thought that was Dunzo. Like, he was down 2-0, luckily able to snatch those three games back with the Orchid and give himself a, a worthy run of this KAI top eight for sure. Yeah, right? You got to think to yourself, like... Like, imagine if that, he, he picked stuck that with Kim, Kim Woo, went down 2-0, got the run back to 2-2, and then lost. Yeah. Like, you only got one carry, you know, one game off of Orchid. All you're thinking about to yourself is like, damn, why did I not start Orchid? I still think myself think to myself like why did he not star orchid but you know yeah it's hard to know uh it's curious because he was playing all orchid and then went to the Kim Wu and then lost and then was like what did i play all the way here yeah. oh yeah you said what was it, the 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 parry right are you gonna cancel it right that was the idea you see uh nikki repping the sponsor of course circa i'm sure tupperware is at home in the chat please oh, yeah with his boy Tupperware manager of a circa esports business yeah and talented in fighting games as well he yes, they got lost to rip at wizard world and street fighter <laughs> it's a sick match also circa has got anakin representing i'm sure i don't think he's actually he's playing here. in the tekken call tekken. i've seen like eight circuit jerseys here i know like the whole squad is rolling deep yeah so yeah they're representing here and doing well they're in grand finals of killer instinct it's going to be two three out of fives if we get there first yeah, three out of five now thompson and winners circuit nikki and losers Ooh. Got the circle logo on the bottom and everything. Yeah, he's got the. You see the the full door color he plays. The red, dude. It's the circle. Breaker immediately from Nikki. It's a guess and it's a good one. Mix up situation. Same side. Yeah, good block. It's tough to see, man. You, you really just gotta commit to a Absolutely. side. Punish from Nikki. Early counter break attempt again, and just no bite from Thompson. Oh, tries for a wake up DP and definitely did not have the pips to cancel it into the shadow laser. Oh, Max, that was max damage punish to start things from Thompson down here in the shadow laser sword. That's a huge grip. Yeah, he tried to get the throw reset, but Nikki activated the instinct and hit him with the uppercut. Oh, no, jump back from Nikki. I thought it was going to be uppercut on the jump in, but he was committed to a different option with punish. Nice. Just takes the damage he can get. Oh. And of course, the break. He was ready. It had to be your roundhouse. That's what you get to push people away. Chip, you can cancel. Oh, it wasn't enough. Shadow? This is going to avoid it. Nice with the instinct. And he's going to get some life back. A nice now, chunk of life back. That was so smart from Thompson. Yeah, he walked under the uppercut knowing Shadow had to come out for Chip. Nikki looking like he could still take this life ball without losing too much health, but he's got to be careful. Thompson's still locked and loaded into danger. His throw is out of range. Ah, oh, that'll do it. Can build some hip speed for himself. And there it is. So you see Nikki now at near full pip speed, if not full speed, pip speed. Oh, actually tries to cross himself under and ends up getting hit by the jump in and locking himself out. Nice 40% uh, from Thompson. Oh, yeah. It's a very good start to the second life bar. Oh, caught him teching. That's a frame trap. And just a challenge with the uppercut this time from Thompson. One into ultra will do it. And there it is, the one into ultra. The one, two is the light auto double from Thompson. That's game one. Yeah, Thompson taking an early lead here. 1-0. As we are still so close on the, uh, the character side wins. Gonna be yeah, 20 it's, to 19. These have been close sets all the way. We've had a lot of 3 2, 2 3, 3 2 sets all the way through Grand Finals. Okay, I, it's close. It's usually a close game. Yes, sir. Throwing out some slow fireballs. Doesn't have any pips, of course. The, uh, the projectiles do cause the pips to build slower. Heavy Linker is broken. Ah, the pip cancel are going to be no good. It's too fast. Yep. Heavy Linker has broken that time for Thompson. But still a pretty healthy lead for himself. And this is where Fulgore struggles in the matchup, right? Is these charged fireballs and other, you know, just the wing kick for approach. The other ways that Thompson gets oh, in. Oh, he was ready. Good shout out counter from Thompson. Takes him to the corner. Nice combo breaker by Nikki, though. Dash under. Ah, and he baited it. No, oh, no, please. Just a single normal. Got to imagine it's just a miss cancel. No yeah. uppercut from Thompson either. He missed it. Reactions are so on point. Oh. Throw Reese, that'll do it. And Thompson, a chunky lead here in Grand Finals, second game. Oh. Pip cancel to keep himself safe. That's a pip for 9%. Overhead reset's no good. There was a check from Nikki. 
Backing him some up, trying to get some space. He does have a large life lead to overcome. Yeah, he had the, the it's going to get greater as he loses some life as Jago gains it. Oh, what a chase down on the back dash from Thompson. It's been shadow. Look at the life gain from Thompson. It's like he barely has been hit. God. Light punch, uppercut, or fierce even. Overhead is good. Overhead. This is the start of the comeback from Nikki, but he needs so much damage yeah, output. He's got a long way to go. No shadow counter available. Ah, oh, got him, and that's Ultra? No. Oh, tries to counter breaker himself because he knew Nikki was going to die, so he thought he would go for it. Yeah, it could have been Ultra from him, but instead, look for the breaker. He should be okay in this game. You know, counting out a huge comeback from Nikki. He does have full bar. What a reaction. Uh, very nice. He's going to the shadow to punish it. Thompson with the block. What a missed fireball and jump from Nikki. Yeah. You got to be careful, though. Nikki can't make a mistake. Yeah, and that's why you see Nikki who's oh ah, uppercut, and that'll do it. Counter hit uppercut, so much damage from Jago. Yeah, I was gonna say, as you know, Nikki's pretty favorable to the counter breakers, but he knew at that point if he gets a counter breaker and doesn't hit it, that's death. You know? Are you alright over there? You lose audio? No, I'm good. Okay. Sorry, Sejam was giving me some weird faces. Dude, I was, I was giving you the look. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got this this uh, headset on my head for so long today. Oh, you know, the ten you. hours of headset head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do that yesterday. It's uh, it just adds up. Ten hours of commentary later, we are here with SCR Grand Finals. Yes, sir. And it is a 2-0 lead for the winner side player, Blue Hurricane Thompson, yep. looking to put a stop to Nikki's rough shot running of this KI season. Yeah, he has just been the man to beat in so many events so far. And Thompson, you know, he had the double back-to-back uh, -to -back at CEO and Combo Breaker this year, right? Combo Breaker than CEO, I guess I should say. Yeah. Uh, but failed to make top eight at Evo, so. You know, he's one of those players that everybody knows that he's ridiculous, major winning caliber player, and that's what he's looking to do here at SCR. Absolutely, and remember the winner of this does qualify for the KI Cup in March 2017. Yeah, I think both these players already are qualified, so it's probably trickle down to maybe like an LCD or something. Okay. Ah, was challenging with uppercut, but Nikki saw the dip, was ready for it. A little sweep from Nikki actually. You don't see that button too often for Fulgore, even with the new target combo off of it. Oh, nice DP. Looks for the jump in, gets the throw after, puts Nikki back in the corner. Oh, whipped uppercut. And still gets the punish, the reset at the end as well. Backdash will get scouted by that blade dash since he saw the instinct pop. Oh, he took the risk. Overhead. He has so much block stun from the jumping fierce. Ends the combo, he's gonna get Shadow Fireball, Double Fireball. Thompson with yet another large life lead in this grand finals. Working on a 3-0. Pip cancel uppercut from Nikki is good, he has a billion pips to work with. Man, Jago Fireball just got there first, it's so fast. And Nikki does have full bars, so you see those dashes are quite something. There's the punish. Oh, look for counter breaker again, but no bite from it. Thompson. Oh, and he was mashing right there after the yeah, combo. Was, was just expecting a reset, I guess. Blow out the combo, and Nikki gets the uppercut. Oh my! I can't believe he didn't jump or anything. This punish. Oh, our chip will do it. Caught me sleeping, and Thompson as well. Thompson got to walk down Jago and move forward here. It feels like Nikki's trying to pick up the speed. Yeah, trying to I change think that's the pace what he's. Of the match. I think you're totally right. He's like, look, I can't play this this low zoning game. Lots of counter breaker attempts not going his way. And there's the big jump. Immediately broken. Oh, he's like, back in there yeah, he really wants it. He really wants it. But the breaker is already happening. And now you're at the point where Nikki is like, do I keep counter breaking or not? Because yeah. he probably wants the break now because I've done so many counter breakers. Thompson close to taking it. He's going to get the light back. Flip out. Oh, oh and that'll do it. Overhead reset. Combo what a break. Tries with the shadow dash in again. He couldn't chase down, and now because of this, Thompson got to work his way in. Oh, charges it up, gets the throw. Is that going to be he enough? Force Not chip. quite. No, he could try to force chip, and Thompson does an uppercut. I'm surprised he saw the blade dash coming. Nikki gets away with That's, one. Uh, so much to think about, you know, in this grand final set. Just probably yeah, just, uh, had, a, had a lapse. This game is 100 million miles an hour. And Nikki really did change the pace that game. It worked out for him. Sped it up for sure. Ah, good block and punish from Nikki. Short little combo, he gets set up afterwards. It's only 13% for a blocked uppercut. And you know, if you get counter hit by that uppercut there, it does more than that. So, wow. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe extended the combo a bit to get that damage would have been nice. But Nikki's still with the lead. Laser rides on the fireball cancel. Gets a combo. Again, Thompson is not biting on these counter breakers at all. Yeah, and it's been the few times he has broke is when Nikki is just, you know, doing stuff like light doubles and stuff you don't yeah, counter break. Exactly. But in those situations, not biting. Bob Instinct, he gets the uppercut. Tournament point still for Thompson. If he can close out this or the next game, he'll be the champ. Short combo. Overhead is good. He caught Nikki on startup. Look this at the health game. Huge lead. Flip out as well and a block. He waited for the shadow, but it didn't come. Yeah, and he doesn't get a punish because of it. Smart stuff from Nikki, honestly. Yeah, it was really great for him not to cancel. And again, he really wants his break. He wants Thompson to go for it, and because of that, he's losing a ton. Block and jump from Thompson. The manual, it does get blown up on that heavy linker. And it's a huge lead from Thompson. Nearly a full life bar advantage. Okay, yeah, just hanging out. That's a 100% lead, and Nikki's gonna get this chip sooner or later. Not sure what the game plan is from Thompson. You're not gonna wait this out. Or he is. Oh, bro. Uh, yeah. All right. You're not. Full meter now for Nikki. It makes jumping these fireballs real dangerous now for uh, Thompson, because if he jumps, there's gonna be beam. Uh, of course, now not full meter. And the zoning, it's a ton of chip to E for Thompson. Yeah, you can't do this for long. Yeah, it's still so much time is left on the clock. Those killer instant seconds do not go very fast. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a long time. It's like Marvel seconds. Yeah, it's like Marvel seconds. Instinct still available for Thompson. He's eating a lot of chip. It's only been six seconds since he started this life bar and already down about 30, 40% chip. This is some extreme patience with Thompson, but like you said, he cannot afford to do this for very long. As yeah. Nikki is whittling down the lead slowly but surely. Fakes the teleport, seconds. tries to bait out the instinct, doesn't go for it. And it's such extreme patience, but you gotta wonder if this will be the game because of it. Yeah. I mean, the chip is gonna be a factor, right? Nikki almost has the lead. Wow. Yeah, Nikki just keeps teleporting in place, trying to bait out that instinct. You gotta wonder if he's gonna go for one. Oh, there he it is. Does. Yes, you knew it had to be coming. Wall splat ender, now Nikki with the lead. Yeah, exactly. So he's just not back is available. Again. You wanna it, jump, you're getting beamed, you're in danger as well. Oh got him? Oh my god. And Nikki ties it up 2-2 off of an insane round. Dude, why he committed to the defense? He committed to getting chipped, and because of that, Nikki finally had the option to go in. Man, you gotta wonder if Thompson's maybe Nikki a teleported bit closer. in place so many times. Yeah, man. dude, he set him up. Oh Got him with a good old classic switcheroo. And that's got to give a lot of confidence to Nikki too, to be able to bring that game back. Yeah, and lockdown now. This is a big damage for Thompson. Shadow uh, Sword just gets so much yeah. damage. Oh, gets the jump in. Heavy Linker is oh. broken, and that's where Nikki needs those counter breakers. But, you know, he's so scared to commit at this point. Oh, got to be a punish. No, that's a sweep. Ooh, the sweep is not what you needed. Chip will do it. He's getting close. That's a punish. And the back throw. Thompson, 70% lead on this life bar. Looking to close out Grand Finals. Nikki wants the reset. Thompson working on a full life bar lead again, but we saw Nikki come back from that last game. Medium doubles broken. And you gotta wonder if Nikki is saving these counter breakers for when it's, when it's gonna count now. He has to be. Those clutch moments, and maybe Thompson won't break, we'll see. Back to this chip. Punish Ooh, on that, he's gonna get cut. Shadow. And this will be a 100% life lead at this point. Yeah, huge lead now. Baited, 100%. Doesn't oh, get the land on it wow, though. Wow, yeah. Counter breaker! That should be it. That should be the... No, he dropped the combo or ended it early. Yeah, it And that could have been early. it. That was the, the combo game-winning one. Oh, and there it is. Thompson, your SCR 2016 Killer Instinct I'm champion. Despite it all, here. despite that crazy comeback Nikki just made, he clutched it out and pulled it together. Man, that was super, super terrifying. Yeah, ends it with a supreme victory. Great showing from Thompson. Nikki shows, though, still why he's, like, so good at this game. Yeah, it's dude. ridiculous. That comeback he made? That was nuts. It was such an absurd comeback. But yep. uh, Thompson stays alive, gets the grand finals now. Three majors this year, just off the top of my head, with Combo Breaker, CEO.